<laughs> Welcome to the OSRS podcast where we talk about RuneScape. I'm one of the hosts, Mitt Maycow, followed by... What's going on, boys? Rakes as always. And hello, Rice Cup here. So today we have uh, my lovely friend, Mr. Afso. He is now the holder of the lowest combat Infernal Cape ever at 39 freaking combat. 39, you heard me say it correctly. 39. And yes, we're going to be covering a lot about his uh, crazy shenanigans leading up to the 39 combat cape in this uh, podcast. But we're going to do some quick, you know, Q&As just to get get a little bit briefed up with who Mr. Afso is as, you know, RuneScape player, person, etc. So who we got for some uh, Q&As? Who wants to well, start? Yeah, for hey, welcome, man. Glad to have you, mm-hmm. Afso. Thank you. Nice to be here. Yeah, this is our... Um... Third, third try, and we've had a lot of failures behind the scenes. So we're just awkwardly just trying to get through the first 10 minutes so we can get a podcast going. So apologies for anyone watching. Um, I did ask in the last Q&A uh, why Absol likes PKing because he is a PKer. So if you'd like to repeat that story, my man. Yeah, sure. No problem. Um, I hadn't been playing RS for a very long time. I played it a bit in like 2014, 2015. I dropped it until I started watching a lot of YouTube videos um, from Lil Skit. If you guys know who he is, he made Rune Pure accounts with Low Prayer, and I thought it was really cool to make one. So that's what I started doing when I get, came back in 2018. I didn't actually get into Inferno until sometime in 2019 when my friend told me to do it, and I was really reluctant because I wasn't interested in doing anything but PKing at the time. Um, but I enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun. Finally got the cape on the main during the summer of 2019, and I just couldn't go back to PK and after that, so I just kept doing my other accounts. I did my main, and then I did my mad, and then I did my rune pure, and then it's my, you know, my my pure, and then a lower combat pure, and it just kept spiraling downwards and downwards <laughs> that way. Now, now, did that sound fun because the wilderness was not updated or you just have a really weird definition of fun? Like, how is that more fun than PK? <laughs> um, I think I, I, I hope I get the timelines right. Do you guys remember when BH um, got removed or butchered completely? Do you know yeah. the timelines for that? Mm-hmm. I, I don't remember time. exactly. That was but, like two years ago, I think. <clears throat> right. So it was like at the end of Right after I did the first Pure Cape, which was like almost at the end of 2019 or like the first week of 2020, um, BH got butchered. So I wasn't interested in like doing any other PKing apart from that, going to the PvP rules or anything like that. So I just continued doing Inferno. And it's good for streaming content. And like I don't have to pay attention as much because you sort of go on autopilot with a lot of the waves. So it's Jeez. fun interacting too with. Uh, chat after, or listen to music. Wait, after how many hours of Inferno did you get to that point where you can, you know, AFK it a bit? <laughs> Autopilot uh, it? I don't know. By the time you do pures you, and you just learn like some of the flicking <clears throat> techniques, or you, it sort of gets built into your muscle memory in terms of how you can set up a wave in a way where you can ignore everything that's happening and just yeah, switch like how, how many days or hours did you think that took to get to that point of enlightenment? Gosh, I'd, I don't know, probably <laughs> like a couple hundred. Oh, okay, God. yeah, it makes sense. God, bro, I'm just it's watching fun. the video in the background, and you're saying this is like mechanical. And I'm like, how? how is that even like <laughs> flicking? Like, it's like he barely touches the range prayer, and he doesn't die at 42 HP. Oh, yeah, dude, I just talked to chat. And we're just walking along this. <laughs> bro, what the fuck? How, dude? I mean, that's, that's ridiculous. And yeah. you say you're, you're a bad PKer. What do you mean? Oh, this is completely different. I love that <laughs> when, like, uh, like I do end up going PKing once every few weeks or months, and I log out about ten minutes later. But while I'm PKing, people are like, "How much? How much did you pay for that?" And it's like <laughs> it's funny because they assume that because I'm yeah. bad at PKing, I'm bad at PVM. But because I'm okay at PVM, <laughs> I'm actually very bad at PKing. So, so you say all the there. people in the Yo. wild with Inferno caves. Yeah. are actually legit because i fight so many and they're so booty and i'm like dude that's gotta be bot yo yo fun fact though both of those creatures can one shot him if he messes up oh i yeah, for shoot. sure understood yeah. that i'm just <laughs> not wondering how he's still alive just walking around that door i mean what is it one chin throw at like 20 range for fertile like holy shit bro yeah the timing's I, gotta be perfect yeah yeah i mean okay, absolutely. Yeah. my question for you is 
you were saying that you know you started to learn this, but <laughs> when when it comes to learning on a one defense in the Inferno, like where did you learn from? Did you watch past vods of people that had done it, or is it like somebody who makes guides on that kind of stuff? Absolutely, the the Bible for Inferno is exact uh, Inferno guide. Everybody yeah. should be looking at that. Um, Sponsored. That's oh yeah, it's not sponsored, but um, that's good. And at the time, I watched like every vod that I can find from Adwam. So yeah, yeah. those are like the yeah. two biggest resources, I'd say. Okay, that's interesting. I mean, I, I I retired my one defense pure account like when Inferno first came out because I said to myself that I would never PK on it until I got Infernal Cape. And I've never logged back in, bro. I mean, I, I did try to attempt it. And I think... You, oh, God. The creature. What's the creature that turns into, like, the free miniature? They're like little snail things. And one's a mage range. And Wild. I got manhandled by those things. Like, I literally <laughs> got, like, two hit. And I was like, bruh. I ain't got the time for this. I thought I was going to breeze through it. And I was like, my God. Like, everything almost, like, one-shots you. It's horrible. This man makes it look easy. He's just walking along that door, bro. Oh my! It's like ASMR kind of, because something incredibly challenging is happening, but my mind mm -hmm. is so calm. And then you got the monkeys right, right at each other on top, which is great. Um, honestly, I had a question, but then I saw the monkeys and it's gone. All right, so you got something there. <laughs> Uh, I mean, well, let, let's let's go let's go back all the way back, right? So you're saying you started RuneScape first time ever, 2014? You weren't a kid. You never started RuneScape as a kid. I started playing old school RuneScape in 2014. Oh, okay, but what was the original? What was the OG? You know, origin um, story. Oh, like, like I don't even. I can't even tell you. Early 2000s, I was playing. Oh, I remember like oh, going. You're one of us. You're one of us. I remember, um, <laughs> like, mining, and I was free to play for the longest time. Mining in like the dwarven mines, and like getting all this coal, getting like 600k. Putting on my full rune armor, going into like Varrock uh, wilderness, and just constantly dying back to back to back three times to teams. I lost my. How can you game. afford that much money, dude? In free to play, what the hell? Oh, I like mined coal for like weeks. <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> that sounds, Jeez, that sounds like the worst money maker. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, oh, yeah. better than fishing lobsters and killing lizard demons. Probably. I was at the flesh crawlers picking up nature runes, and it took me, I think, two months to get a whip, and then I got hacked. <laughs> <laughs> like, Yo, any hack stories? Any hack stories to go with that? Um, uh, hack stories for me? Yeah, any of those? Not oh, really, but speaking oh. of the whip, there was this one time I got nice. scammed in in Cami. One of the first times I was mem. Uh, the person was like buying a beginner wand or whatever for like two mil. And then the, another guy was like buying whip for <laughs> like 1.5 mil. So I trade the guy buying the whip. He gives me a beginner wand. I'm like, what am I going to do with this? Oh, wait, that guy's buying it for two mil. So I can just oh, go sell to him. <laughs> so, wow, that's actually like a two layered uh, scam because normally people are like buying, selling goblin book, different price, right? Yeah, like they yeah. made you think two layers beyond that. That's that's actually wow. That's yeah. Man, those as, guys a, were, as a kid, I couldn't put it together, crazy. but I was too poor to get scammed. So I'd see these people at Cami Bank going like selling dragon axe two mil, Bro, man, find you, one you, for you, three mil, and I'm just walking like, dude, give me five hundred k. Fucking go right on over there. And I was like talking to them back and forth, I'm like get, uh, get the fuck away from us. I'm like, I couldn't figure it out, but I didn't have enough money to fall for it. Bro, dude, bro, you I, don't have. I just got scammed by the same thing, man. It was it was in Varrock East Bank though, the uh, the Long Bank, and they were at either ends. And I can't remember what it was. One person was like, I think it was a granite mall or something. It was like one dude was saying buying granite mall like five hundred k, and the other guy was like selling for a hundred and fifty k, which was a good price. And uh, I literally went up to the guy that was selling, and I was like. Hey man, there's a guy just down there that wants to buy it for 500k. <laughs> and he ignored me, so I bought it off him, and I couldn't find the guy. <laughs> oh, you what got the hell, yoinked, bro? Yeah, bro, I got, I got ripped, man. The, the <laughs> thing is, the thing is, you don't have to be rich to get scammed. You know, I remember when I earned. This was the last thing I want to do before we get back to the real it's content. You know, poor people out there, like, bro. Up. You know, it took months to like earn myself like 20k to get a green D high set. And like I was trying to buy some rune armor for the first time, so I was like, "All right, I'm gonna sell my green dehy set for the same price I bought it for, so I can buy some rune stuff." And and there's a dude he was saying, "Yo, buying green dehy set at 100k, right?" 
I, I was like looking at it. I was like, no, this guy's tripping. Like, no, there's no way. That's a typo. And then he kept spamming it for 10 minutes and I couldn't sell my, my thing for 20K. Everyone wanted to buy for 15. The rascals, you know? And I was like, okay, fine. I'll, I'll, I'll see what's up. He put up 100K. I was like, no way. This guy's going to, he's actually doing it. And the, he pressed accept so fast. I was like, I was like, oh my God. <laughs> and then I was like, you know, cooked. I was like, I have to press accept fast. And I did it too. And then somehow I only got 10K. I was like, <laughs> I was like, what the hell happened? I only got 10K. <laughs> Oh uh, my well, god, it, that was devastating. Like, he made like a 5,000 gold profit off that. That's 10,000 actually. But like, 10, dude, it took, it took me a month to make 20k though. And you know a know lifetime I mean? memory, bro. Oh my 10, god. I was I was memory. devastated. I was devastated, man. And then ever since then, I've been like super like not, you know, I just don't just get trade scams because I'm on like bullshit. Everyone's trying to get me now, you know? Boys, <laughs> yeah. do you hear community engagement? All right, chat. What is the yeah. worst scam you fell for? way back when don't be ashamed to tell us right. you know and I'll, it doesn't we'll have like to be it. a lot of money it could be all rice's 10k or maybe rexy's how much you lose rexy oh, that was painful like 100 and something k. i feel like 100k or we can have my boy over here a couple mil all right with absol man uh, <laughs> like uh, was it 500k or one mil you lost shit, a couple or? mil right absol you said yeah like i shit, you got rid of my whip for a beginner wand which is worthless <laughs> well how much was the whip back then was it like three mil i think i bought mine for three mil I don't remember. I couldn't tell you exactly how much. Yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah that was a female then. God damn, devastation. Yeah. Well, so Absol, I'm not, I'm not a PVMer, but I can tell this honestly insane. But I, I'm just gonna keep asking you PK questions until someone tells me to stop. So back in the day, did you PK like way old school? Did you ever get like a, a beast PK like Elf Mage? Um, not really at all. Like I didn't. Yeah. Like my first account that i really pk'd on was my main and it had like such a whack build this is like 2010 or something and i had 99 attack and 80 strength i was like yo oh, look no. at me i'm never gonna miss <laughs> and I, but i was like t whipping 20s thinking i'm the shit but yeah dude, I, that's I, not your fault jagex just agree. didn't give any love to the attack builds all right <laughs> no love at all man <laughs> yeah i didn't really get any Big PKs oh. back then. How about now, though? Any any juicy ones? I feel like even if you die a lot, you, you probably snag someone for a bit. No, you would think so, but absolutely oh. not. <laughs> oh, but like, I've been yeah. mostly PKing on this one account that I finished um, last year, which is like an Obby Infernal account, mm -hmm. which is 99 strength and Infernal Cape and one attack. Oh my god. She can't use non Ancients for. Non bot Infernal Cape, by the way. And <laughs> like, it's just fun seeing the big numbers come out of that account. I think, like, I have a small clip of Warhammering a 63 and then Warhammering a 60, and the guy still doesn't die, but I'm like, those are the cool numbers. <laughs> I like that. Oh, my God. But obviously, so, you don't PK anything on that account. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But, but come people, on. Oh, sorry. Like, no, it's cool. Do you get a lot of people offering, like, asking you to, like, get Infernal Capes and, like, offering you money and stuff like that? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I got How off, many did you accept? Like I saw that smirk, man. How many have you done? <laughs> How many phone bills um, you pay, bro? Self incriminate now. I can't incriminate myself. <laughs> but if Ozar's podcast gets 10%, Zero. then you could just tell us because we'll be allies, dude. Bro, no, right? he works full time making the dough. He don't need it. <laughs> no, Tom, yeah. that's, that's a great question because I was thinking, like, if you're so mechanically inclined to do Inferno, like, it's like you're sleeping. And I keep seeing oh, these is. Inferno bots in the Grand Exchange. And I, they won't go away. So someone's out here buying them. It's, yeah. It has to be either tempting or uh, uh, not tempting, bro. If you know what I mean. But Bro, I I, mean, <laughs> when I got my um, Inferno cape, because it was one of the first ones in the game, I had people everywhere like asking me if I would like do an Inferno cape for them. For, like, I got offered like a bill by some dude. Oh, my God. And I was just like, nah. I'm not doing it for you. Just nah. because just because it was such a struggle the first time doing it, I was like, everybody should experience that. Everyone should experience that pain, that torture, man. <laughs> the the dying on like I died on the single jad, right? Which is the easiest wave, bro. I died because I missed Prey Flick and I tilt ran another one and I did the exact same thing back to back. I've never been so upset, dude. I was Bro. I oh, okay, okay. after that. <laughs> yeah. Actually this 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 is a good topic because like we're just you know relating to what we're gonna talk about really soon. But uh I remember when I was doing my first ever Inferno Cape, like I don't know, it was many years ago, right? I uh, brag, humble brag, I was like the eleventh <laughs> Iron Man to get it or some shit. But like it's so funny because looking back, right? I remember looking back, I finally got to Zuck, right? For like the 
first time. And then, like, I, you know, I died in, like, the first 30 seconds, probably. And then I got back again. And I was like, all right, this time I'm going to last, right? But I DC'd. And then I just see myself get hit. And, and I just died. And then and then I was like, okay, all right, the bullshit. And then and then the second time I got back again. But right as the, the final jab was about to die, I DC'd again. So basically, I got to suck twice in a row, but I DC'd both times. So I was like, oh my god. And then I, I, I just like took a break for a bit, but but yeah, it yeah. took me a few more tries after that. But yeah, it was so 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 frustrating. It took so long to get there. But yo, I, I'm I'm super like curious mm-hmm. too. Like you don't have to incriminate yourself. We don't I'm not gonna judge anyone, man, but uh just on the whole thing like this is a different question man do you think it's good or bad i guess right or wrong to uh do inferno caves for other people like just for money or something um it's good for the person selling the cape and apparently it's good for the person buying the cape but it's against the game rules and i think that if jagex didn't want people to do it maybe they could be more strict with it. I don't know. Like, the, I'm sure they can implement some things that pr- prohibit people from buying capes. I, I can't they, think of anything off the top of my head. I thought they did. Are they failing? Is that what's happening? Like, they're just getting through anyways? Well, most capes nowadays are done through remote software. So the other, the caper is controlling your mouse. And how do you really detect that? Apart yeah. from the fact that, hey, this guy just get, like has never touched Inferno before. And he just got like a 90 minute cape. Maybe that's suspicious, you know? So, so not like saying you do it, of course, but because you're always doing Inferno, you're, you're, I mean, you're going to know about this knowledge. So you kind of know about the community. Oh, in a yeah. Way that sells. I mean, you learn from them. You learn from them, man. These Is guys there anything you can like papers, so. tell us a little more about like how much these people might be making or, or how, how oh, active it God. is? Because I'm, I'm, I'm honestly very intrigued about this whole community. How are people still affording Inferno capes in the first place, dude? We're inflation. I mean, come on. Did Inferno capes go up because of inflation? I got I got questions. Bro. Yo, you don't realize how desperate people want to be to look cool in a video game. Like, no joke. <laughs> All right. Yeah. No, I'm I'm serious. I'm serious. Yeah. Dude. yeah. Like people are beyond desperate to look cool on a video game. And that just goes to show, like, if you're in a community and you care a lot about the community, like you try you try your best to to like, you know, feel like you're a part of the, you know, the top dogs or whatever, you know? Although you just play the game and play the game, you know. But yeah, that's how how it is. That's true. Um, I doubt a lot of the cape <laughs> buyers are like flexing their cape in a way that like makes them look like they're the ones that got it. Usually, they I would assume they're being low key and that yeah. they don't want to get. They, a they lot also of feel guilt. They also feel some guilt too. Although there's some cases where like some people are so dumb, they're like you know they screenshot like the with the program. <laughs> in, in, you know, those are memes shot. i swear those can't be real <laughs> like yo i got my cape and like you see at the bottom right it's like remote software <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's so no i could see people being that dumb honestly yeah, um, there's some instances yeah. but but you do know of the the community and the workings right i don't know if you can answer these questions to the fullest extent but like how much yeah that's all we're here for. making or or like just some numbers man because i'm super curious um i, I it's hard to say but rather not get into that bit i think there are some videos already on youtube about like the infernal cape industry i i think they're pretty industry. accurate yeah. it's crazy the infernal cape <laughs> industry it's oh, so shit. it's doing well man it's it's, pumping. it's oh, an industry God. now right it's I mean, thriving I, dude i took a look a while back out of curiosity to see what they charge and obviously it all depends depended on the the kind of account it is like if you've got a one defense account that's the hardest account to get on so it's like that's going to be more than a main but oh, absolutely. I, I mean, I think like now the price is like, God, I can't remember. I actually don't remember off the top of my head, but it was. Does it was anyone like know the old prices? I'm not sure. I mean, people used to ones. sell for like, five, I don't know, man, several hundred, you know, back in the here's, day. Yeah. Here's a question, honestly, that you we might all know, because I, I honestly like, you know what uh, yeah, offends me here is that no one's ever asked me to do an Infernal Cave for him, bro. Like, no one's ever been like, here's a bill, Minty. Jump on my account. Grabbing it not Dude, once. Have you even done like Mage Arena 2K yet? Right, right. <laughs> right. All I'll say is, if you see uh, me one day with an Infernal Cape, um, question where it's from, all right? Because it's not, bro, it's not a natural. I, no. mate, the thing is, like, this, this is the thing, right? And I, I think Absol said it perfectly. Like, as somebody who formerly just did PKing, and like, you're that person right now, Mint, if you go and do the Inferno, you're not going to understand it to begin with because you're going to be like, this is boring. But like, once you actually get going with it, you're gonna be like, "Holy shit!" Somebody poured passion and love into this piece of content, 
and then you're gonna go back to your your wilderness that's been like left for twenty years. <laughs> like, like, you're, you're gonna be like, man, what the fuck have I been doing with my life, man? <laughs> see, see, you're trying to give me new information, but my first question was, hey, did you only do Inferno because there's no love for the wild? And it was spot I mean, on, wasn't it? Pretty oh, much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Pretty it was much, dude. spot on, sadly. Um, but damn, bro. Who knows? Maybe we'll get a, a absolute bag when the wilderness extension comes through. We'll see him out there dying. Yeah, in winter wild. 2017. <laughs> dying. Oh, man. <laughs> hey, I've, so I asked you your biggest PK. Come on. You must have gotten like a mil, two mil, AGS oh, maybe. Yeah. It, actually, I, I smited claws and old BH like Ooh. once. But Ooh. like. Oh, nice. Dude. That's nice. Oh, and I, but I got my claw smited like three times. So. Oh, <laughs> So I guess you put one out in the universe, you get it back sometimes. All right. Fair. Oh, man. Uh, There's all right. a lot of, like, yeah. scams, like, internal, in terms of Infernal Kits. Like, any, pretty much any ad that you see, like, level three bots, like, advertising websites and stuff, they're right. all, like, fake. Yeah. And it's, like, terrible, I think, how, like, these noobs are getting scammed out of so much money and like all the money on their accounts because they're getting hacked and this that wait, wait, wait. did you did you say bots for inferno like a bot that will do it for you no, no like a level three bot oh yeah, the bot that takes all your shit okay. um yeah. i don't know if this would be investive journalism or like a little dgen runescape shit because i don't want my viewers to be buying infernal capes but we might as well because i'm curious so you're saying that a lot of these advertisements are a scam how would you go to to get through the scams and actually get an Inferno K bot for you? I, I honestly, I don't want anyone buying. Oh, you're asking, dude. Why do you might as well get the information all out. this information? Man? <laughs> oh, I think we all know, but I have no judgment, and it's very interesting. So, um, I think rule of thumb: you can't trust like the advertisements Nobody. that are on the game. Okay. How do you go about getting? Finding actual people that sell infernals? Shit, I don't know, but I, I swear they're like a dime a dozen now. Like so many people do infernals. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so it's like a pretty mainstream career for like the gold farming industry right now. Or I guess I don't know if that's the correct term for it. IRL farming. Okay, that's interesting, I mean, man. So Jagex <laughs> are against it because like they do like, it's <clears throat> not often, but occasionally they'll do swipes and like they'll get people who illegitimately got capes and they'll be wiped. Yeah, a few or times a year say, they'll clean out. They say so, yeah. right? And then like mm -hmm. you know, I won't name any names, but there are people who were former former content creators who then started selling infernal capes as a service, who now have to hide their usernames because they get banned on those accounts. So like mm. you know, it, it's definitely still a, an illegal activity in Jagex's eyes to do. But it's like it's an interesting question. Like, how long is long enough until they just say, "Yeah, do you know what? We don't care." Because there was a period of time for a long time where they haven't cared about fire capes. Like that shit really? doesn't matter. Yeah, like dude, Boaty used to sell fire capes. Who, and, wait, like, who's he was buying a fire about. cape? That was back in the day. Back, back, back yeah. in the day. But my point is, it's yeah, like okay. that. That kind of happened after a period of time had passed where they just stopped caring about it. And I wonder if the same kind of thing would happen with the Inferno cape. Well, um, from a um, outsider's ex um, from an outsider's view, it almost looked like they were taking care of it. I'm actually super surprised because the way they make everything sound like, oh, we've banned a thousand bots. Well, oh, it, we're taking out the infernal buyers. I'm like, dude, they got their they're they're doing a great job. And I talked to my boy uh, absolutely. You're like, nah, dude, there's like fucking 10, 40 people out there farming daily. There's there no one's getting banned. I was well, so. You know, I mean, I, I just sold. assume. I just assume so I, it takes a bit, you know, for them to like look at uh, look them up in, in mass, and then like hopefully you don't take anything. They're not doing mm -hmm. it as much. You're just kind of like, I guess it feels like when Jag expands some stuff, they'll make like a big word about it to kind of like, oh, don't do this, and then then nothing. Yeah, it's a bit of a propaganda and a bit of truth, you know. Right? They're just they're just warning you propaganda like it, bro <laughs> well it's because like it's not like full gut propaganda right because they they actually do get rid of people's capes it's just they probably can't get rid of all of them like within 24 hours or something like that, well know? the be yeah the best way to look at it is like they're making an example of like certain people so if you're yeah like on something you're probably gonna get struck down versus yeah, they, if, basically down basically randomly. if they catch your ass they're gonna catch your ass you know? i mean i will say so, and correct uh, me if i'm wrong I've never seen somebody accidentally banned for getting an infernal cape. Yeah, they. I think. I, they, I haven't. Seen I think that. they like. 
I think they make sure those guys are like clowns before they actually ban them. Like how there was they- one story I- actually okay. of some guy who got. His first cape removed because it was bought, but then he did it the right the second time, but it got removed. And they're like, oops, <laughs> sorry. So they couldn't give him his cape back, but they gave him like a year membership or something. I might be remembering oh, that wrong, but he did not get his cape back, yeah. though they admitted they made a mistake. Dude, oh, could you imagine being that guy? He's like, I got it done. It's over. Where'd it go? <laughs> <laughs> it's like your past sins will forever haunt you. <laughs> that, was, that reminds me when I was like, I got 60 mil for the first time. And I was so excited. And then I, w- I went to take a shower because I was all sweaty from my kid activities. And I come back and it's gone. I was like, I was just so excited. It lasted four minutes. And it's just, I feel bad for that guy, bro. Wait, um, did you say you I, got your 60 mil? Did you get hacks or something? I told you the key loggers took my childhood virginity a long time ago. They can't <laughs> penetrate every time they could, bro. I, I mean, they, I they not even change your password. They just took your shit and left They everything. just, every new account I made that hit level 60 <laughs> would get wiped and botted, bro. Oh every God. time. And I, I'd get deeper into this, but I, I want to get more actually deeper into the whole uh, accounting uh, or uh, buying infernal capes, man. Like, I feel like we're not prepared for the, for this for this in depth, so we should probably save that for another time so that we can talk about the uh, low depth, combat. But I, I, we've okay, already one gone. More. Yeah, one, one more question. More, one, one, All right. One. So if you do get an infernal kit, this really sounds like I myself am prepping for one. Don't worry, boys. I'm not rich enough in real life. And if you see one on my account, you already know it's bought. So it's, it's, it's not for me. But how would you prep an account for an Infernal Cape? Like you said, it's through a program. And then they just ge- they have gear ready. Like how trusting is that? Um, yeah, you. they tend to gear their own accounts and park it outside Inferno. But obviously, that's how <laughs> the <laughs> scammers just like log into your account and take your TiVo. Yeah, right <laughs> wouldn't why wouldn't you i mean you're just gonna log into an account get paid a couple hundred and they're we're wearing like what two thousand dollars in gear i mean man you'd feel I, like the I, biggest like dipshit in the world if you got scams while trying to buy an inferno like imagine that feeling yeah. bro like dude that's out there you can't that you can't happens. even you can't even complain about it like you can't say to your man your friends like oh man i just got scammed because they'd be like yo how did that happen and you're just like I don't know. <laughs> like, can you imagine that feeling? It'd be awful, dude. Right? Are you? What are you gonna do? I mean, you can't go to account security, even if it worked. Hey guys, I, my account got hacked. I was trying to buy an Inferno cape, and the man was an asshole, bro. It's like, so, dude, <laughs> they're I, not so, gonna do anything for you. The way the way that well, the way they used to do it, um, and the reason I know this, I'll tell you in a second. But um, they use, I believe, it's called Team Viewer, right? Where you can give remote access to the person who's watching, and they do it like through that, and it's apparently borderline untraceable now the reason i know that is because a very very good friend of mine from years ago this was like old runescape before old school he he was a dick (laughs) all right he he basically spent like a week scamming people the dude arena where he was like he had a a dh plate body and he was scamming with the plate body on staking he made like a bill and he went to sell the bill for real life money and I don't know why he was so dumb, but I guess, you know, it's because he was he was scamming at the dude arena. The guy was like, hey, I want to see the money through TeamViewer. <laughs> and, like, he went on there, showed him the cash, and the dude that was watching, like, basically took control or whatever. And, um, yeah, he, like, watched the bill get traded onto another account. <laughs> it got disconnected. Oh my god. Yeah. Cyber crimes are kind of wild because you can watch yourself be robbed and do nothing about it. <laughs> oh, it's so good. But the thing is, like, you know, it's like you kind of put yourself in that position. Like, bro, I, I would, it, I, I think it would be so funny to, like, see the third person view of somebody allowing somebody on their account to do the Inferno Cape through, like, Team Viewer. <laughs> and the person logs in and just goes straight to the bank and trades another account. Oh, my God. That would Bro. that would literally be so funny to watch. <laughs> and, um, yeah, uh, a- Astral, sorry for all these questions. I'll make, I don't want to make you feel uncomfortable. But when it comes to Inferno, for me, there's just two really interesting viewpoints. And that is the uh, the shady backgrounds. Right. And of course, the uh, the speed running, which is what you do, not speed running, but like low level combat uh, Inferno Cave. I guess speed running is also the third option. So I just really look at those two things. And I'm you put so much light into that subject for me. Now that I know it, I appreciate that, man. All right. So 
just, I don't want to make you feel weird. It's just very, <laughs> that's why I like Sir Pugger. He goes deep into those communities and it just, you know, people are making millions on RuneScape and they're not content creators. You know, they're not, they don't work for RuneScape. They just, they just make money, bro. It, it's, it's a crazy thing. So sorry about that. Yeah, all no, right, no all right. yeah, we should get, we should get to the, the, to the meat of the subject here. So we, we kind of wanted to discuss it from like a inspirational point of view to start off. You know this whole this whole uh, endeavor of the thirty nine combat, and then Absol's probably gonna try to explain some of like the mechanical stuff, like you know the in in progress towards thirty nine, like the nuances of that. So so yeah, tell us a bit more about like the inspirational part, like how how did it all start? Kind of like what built you, the elements that got you like feeling, yeah, I should try for this. I want to go for this. Like what what, what was it? You know. Um, it was always like a, a sort of an inside joke between like a lot of my friends about doing a 39. They're like, oh, you're going to do 39. I'm like, no way. What am I crazy? Am I going to waste all that time to like get a 39 combat cape? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> and this was during my progression of like going to a lower and lower account making it a little harder. So after I got it on the pure, I got it on like a 78, 75 HP pure. And then I got it on a, um, uh, 58 combat Tebow pure, you know, like super low combat. You can wear a Tebow still, so it's still not that bad. And then I worked my way down to like doing with an MSB or whatever with Ancients and Unpredictable was like, I don't know if you know Unpredictable, but he's like, like a super low combat Infernal Goat as well. And he at the time was like doing an Obby Infernal, which is one attack, so you don't have Ancients, so you can't really like just face tank everything and just heal afterwards, right? So you mm -hmm. have to flick everything perfectly. So he's the one who got me into doing obby accounts. And I've months after him, I finally got one um, done as well, which was like April of 2021. 20, and after that, I was like, oh, why don't I go for the lowest combat obby cape, which is 41 combat. Um, one of my first attempts, I got to like wave 55. I was like, wait, the DPS for this was really, really low. And I still got to wave 55. Maybe 39 isn't such a long shot. Mm. So I spoke with another friend who we were pitching like ideas, whether or not there's enough XP to do it. And we were messing around with the Dragon Warhammer. So the first batch of accounts was like on an account with 60 strength and at the time 12 attack, but it should have been 11 because you don't have enough XP with 12 attack. Um, and yeah, I mean, Dragon Warhammer was pretty cool. It's like, but you know, after a couple dozen accounts, I'm like, wait, why don't I just use a Brian Saber? Then I don't have to be like pumping the account for 20 hours every time I want to do a new <laughs> attempt. So, so yeah, wait, that so, was like, the so what's the relation uh, between the weapons? I kind of missed that. Yeah. Uh, so, in terms of getting 39, the goal is to put as much of the XP that you gain in the Inferno into strength or into melee so that you have enough XP saved over to still end at 49 range in magic. Um, mm, oh, okay. So because Dragon Warhammer, you're 60 strength, you can pump like what 50k strength XP in there, which is like more than enough. So that was the build 11 attack and 60 strength. You should be able to get like a little above 61, like just under 62, which is pretty much enough to heck, maybe even kill triples if you wanted to. You know, with all melee from wave one to sixty-eight, all melee. If you okay. wanted to, but oh, okay, so you that, melee this shit. Hey, damn. What? He, not okay. that I had to. No, absolutely not. But like, <laughs> uh, I had to melee like the vast majority of it. It's just a huge risk to oh. melee while um, you don't have any pillars because you know you're sitting there flicking and you have to step into the mage to warhammer at once. Boop, a zero. Okay, time to do this for twenty more minutes. Like that's a pain in the ass with. Like while you're flicking with no pillars, but while you have pillars up, you can warhammer them freely. You know, you just flick one thing and everything else is trapped behind the pillar. You know. Yeah. So, uh, can we go pause just for like the people that never done the inferno? So like the inferno, there's like obstacles that you can use to trap stuff behind you. So that's what he's referring to is like the the three core pillars that are in the area. But it didn't yeah. have any pillars right somehow how how i'm just trying to figure out how you melee shit and then you're like prayer and 
bro. And man, then you, you need, die you in the wild do somehow. An, you need I don't to do even... an attempt, Mike. Seriously, man. I think it would be great I've... stream content. I'd love it. Dude, everyone says that. I've got my first try. I got the wave 47. I missed one prayer flick diet. Had full food. And I said, no, I'm not dying to one uh, hit ever again. You can't be a greedy just... boy, man. You got to sip the mm-hmm. booze. <laughs> yep. I was full HP. I just, don't gone. I was like, okay. Dude, but it's so whatever, man. I got a question, right? So, firstly, how many attempts did this take until you actually managed to get it? Because I'm, I'm guessing you didn't do it on the first try, right? Yeah, it definitely wasn't on the first try. Um, like I said, in terms of the timelines, it was end of April that I got an obby, and then I tried to do lowest combat obby, which is 41 combat, and I said, screw this, I'm gonna go do, like, attempt 39 finally. So this was around May of 2021 where I started going for 39, and it wasn't wow. until April 1st that I actually got it. And embarrassing to admit, but it took, like, 61, at, the 61st attempt was the one that I got, like, the cape on. Jeez. I had one more account parked long. outside Inferno in case this one died, and then, <laughs> if, like, you know, thank God I needed to log in. Okay, okay, so, so, wait, so wait, wait, tell wait. us. Dude, yeah. I, need, I need to know, right? Two questions. So, roughly, how long did each attempt from Wave 1 all the way to Zuck, how long How long does that take? Um, and I've lost the second one. Let's go with that one. <laughs> okay, so... Wave 1 to 50 is a good indicator of like the sort of halfway mark, 60% mark. And that takes minimum of like, a, a good estimate is 10 hours. So... Jesus. Wait, 10 hours? Yeah. Holy shit. 1 to 50. That's just Wave a 50, one, yeah. mate. It's oh a 69. my. 69 yeah. is the final one. Dude, that, you know that's, and that's like a full-time job right there. Oh. Yeah, and like with <laughs> holy, with all the different, um, you know, factors that you're working against, being like the the servers being the biggest one, and the fact that maybe you're sitting there for four hours and suddenly you lose concentration, you like miss a flick. Oops. Okay, well, go make another account, get a fire cape, and <laughs> sacrifice that, that again. How long does that take? The fire cape process, pre inferno process. Um. I'd, I I tried speedrunning it kind of a few times, and the shortest I got was like uh, eight hours and thirty minutes or something to get like oh, the account from level man. three tutorial island all the way parked into Inferno. Holy eight hours of every, every attempt. That's <laughs> so, insane. That's insane. Oh, um, God. So my my other question, sorry, real quick, mm-hmm. was on my mind. Um, how many times did you make it to Zuck in total? Do you know? Twice. I got it on the Twice. second. Oh, that's good though. That that's good. Wow, dude. So, yeah, since we're bringing this up, I was going to say it for a bit later. Uh, show us how the account progress goes from start to Inferno, what you got to buy, train, all that stuff. Yeah, <laughs> so in terms of quest, uh, you try to, like, now I'm just talking about the Brian Saber route, because yeah. Brian Saber route, you need 40 attack, or at least to go into Inferno with, to wield the Brian Saber. So you do all the attack quests, you do Dwarf Cannon, you cannon up the range, you get 43 Prayer, which is super quick, you get 40 magic as quickly as possible, so I enchanted bolts and threw money at it. Um, and yeah, like at around 40 range, you want to go into fight caves and poison a little bit of it, and come out of fight caves and park outside Inferno with 40 attack, 23 strength, or 20 strength, you could just get the first three levels in the first few ways of Inferno. Um, 43 prayer, 45 range for chins to kill the nibblers, and 40 magic to wear the miter. Any lower and you can't wear a miter. What, are you going to get a halo? Maybe. Oh, oh my god. Okay. Can you so that's imagine? like, is that the lowest combat then? Or could it be lower? <laughs> it, it yeah, it could be lower. Be it could be lower. Oh my god. Yeah, but um, not with the same route that I followed, which is like pretty much mimicking everything exact did. Yeah. Right. Wait, like, so I'm using before, Brian Saber. Before you go yeah. into the possibly lower strats, which is incredibly exciting, then take us like like really detail. Like, what are you buying? Where are you training? Uh, the fire cape process, dude. The log outs. You know, <laughs> not incredibly detailed. I know it's a very long journey. A, a little but, more. A little more. You know, I kind of want to like it's a settled progress video. I want to enjoy the the process here. Yeah, sure. Um, so you try to do all the quests and stuff. You want to get all your combat experience for fire cape. 
without getting any HP XP, pretty much, or minimal. Um, so you're pretty much jumping into the fight caves at like 11 or 12 HP, and you try and poison uh, a bit of it so that you come out the other end with about um, 27 to 30 HP. So that's the HP you start Inferno at. Um, and that makes sure that you have enough experience to end at 43 HP, which is the highest you can get to go for 39. Um, in terms of the progress preparing the account, there's not too much more to it apart from, holy crap, okay, if I'm just going to like list out the uh, order of operations, it's get 43 prayer, um, get 30, f- this is going to take like a minute, okay. get 30, 36 and a half mage, um, get 22.5 agility at the gnome chorus, do grand tree, that'll get you to 30 agility with 30 agility you can now do horror from the deep with your 36 magic which takes about seven minutes um which gives you god book and 20 range now with the 20 range you can go and do dwarf cannon and get a get 38 to 40 range cannon at zaya hill giants which is 60k xp an hour which means you're only you're done after like half an hour or something so now you have 40 range you have you got a bit of ex- magic XP from Horror from the Deep. You round it up to 40, because you're at like 39. Now you have 40 range, 40 magic, and you finish off the attack experience quest, so now you're at 40 attack and 20 strength. All you need to do now, and, and 43 prayer, all you need to do now is go get the fire cape. Oh right, one part I missed. Um, after you get the fire cape, you want to go and get 29 cooking cooking like 400 karam wants one tick in seven minutes and <laughs> seven do minutes. the um do the gnome restaurant mini game what that does is it gives you the gnome token which gives you the food that's in the inventory of the account we can't really say right now but it doesn't mm. matter yeah save it save it which takes a bit of an about an hour an hour and 10 minutes to do mm-hmm. so that's like the final piece of the puzzle also uh, I, I guess you might as well go a bit deeper into like the whole fight cave process, right? Like, um, oh yeah, like the main strats, the scouting, etc. You know how that works. Also, yeah, before, fight uh, caves is easy. Before yeah. you jump into that too, just you can combine this information. Um, I'm looking at like your chins, your bolts. It's got to cost a lot of money per attempt. So, like while you're doing the fight cave and inferno, you know how much things are costing, what you have to buy. I'm assuming purple sweets. I don't, I don't know. I always see people yeah. purple sweets. I just assume for fight caves you do bring purple sweets so the inventory like heck somebody can watch this and probably go for 39 if they wanted to but <laughs> i don't think there's any worth doing it but anyways you your inventory you, what you wear is like vestment <laughs> robes and ranger tights uh which is your best in slot and you want to uh have an inventory of a few hard food like manta rays or pineapple pizzas uh 100 Purple sweets, a Sarah brew to take eat with, because if you're full HP and a mage attack is coming at you, you can't eat the pie to take eat, right? So, so anyway. there are situations where you can't prepare in advance for the mage attack, or you just oh, make like a mistake. You, you, you make a mistake. Yeah, oh, okay, it's okay, just okay. in case you make a mistake. The rotation okay. you use, like all it's of them, are possible right? to do. Yeah, yeah. You just want to make sure you, you know the use? rotation. I use which, six, which is not the optimal one. Yeah, I used two. But like for other things, <laughs> yeah, I got you. Yeah. yeah. So if you guys didn't know, there's like different possibilities of uh, spawns for for the fight caves, and like there's like a few. Do you remember how many in total there are? Fourteen or something. Yeah, fourteen. So there's like fourteen possibilities, and it's all mapped on the wiki. You can like, if you know which rotation at the start, then you know exactly where every other mob's gonna spawn in on the following waves. So super useful for his type of account stuff. So. Yeah, yeah, so the fight caves is predictable. You just minimal prayer flicking because you have like 20, 25 restores in your inventory. You could just kick back, relax, but it still takes many, many hours. The fastest I think you can get is like like three and a half, four hours. Okay. There was, okay, I don't know if I should talk about this, but there was a, a bug that I did exploit. <laughs> Not very much, but because I was doing. Um, 
I was doing Fight Kids at the time, and it was just there. So Ooh. for a few weeks at the beginning of this year, Emerald Bolts had 100% accuracy. <laughs> you will never miss with them, and you will never not poison something. What the hell? So because I'm going in there with it anyways, like... How did you figure of, that out? Accidental? You just noticed Accidental. It. I was just making an account, <laughs> and I was like, wait, it's like suspiciously. I was like five minutes in, I was like, I haven't missed at all, ever. <laughs> this is suspicious. Maybe you're just lucky. Bro, that's not <laughs> a bug. That's just a good old hit and runescape update they forgot to yeah. tell everyone about. Maybe it's just like, you know, you it got low key, the gun. And they and they managed to fix it sometime after that. But to do 38 Combat Inferno, which is I think the realistic lowest possible, that bug uh, would have been perfect. Such yeah. that you could poison so much for free. And that would have been the perfect time to like stash away 20 attempts worth of accounts. For 38 one day, but I didn't do that. So see how he thinks of accounts. He thinks <laughs> of them as inferno attempts, bro. So, That's kind of yeah. cool. He thinks of them as parking at the inferno. He's just parking yeah. some 60 hour accounts here, bro, so, here and there. How many accounts uh, did you like? How, how was the preparation in terms of the accounts? Did you get like a, a certain number of them ready to go? Uh, or did you just do one at a time? Like, how did that work for you? How many did you park a day? Um, When I was doing. I don't know. I think at most I would I would prep three at a time when I'm super burnt from Inferno, where I'm like, all right, I need a break. I'm just gonna make these accounts and not have to worry about Inferno. And there are quite a number of those accounts that died in fight caves because I was like, oh, well, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. And I come back and I'm like, oh shit, I forgot that blob was poison. It just split into two and came like kicked my ass. Oh, you know? so right. there'd be so many times where like the accounts just like I, I swear <laughs> I have a screenshot of one dying on wave sixty two once, which is just double mage because I was AFK. So. Oh. God, yeah, that happens. Man. I don't. So like, like what, what, what keeps you going? You know, like I feel like you're making sixty of these accounts where it takes you know like eight hours, eight ten hours per account, right? And and like one mistake and it's over. What what keeps you going? You know what what kind of discipline? What did your mom tell you back in the day? You know what happened in your life? You know to kind of like get man, you. It was all the e girls that are gonna reward you know around exchange. Like did you watch Naruto hey. or some shit? You know I don't forget. Like what, what was kind of like the philosophy here? You know. There's gotta be some philosophical thing going on. <laughs> the babes. No, it's it's just like sunken cost fallacy. You, you get so much into it at some point, you're like, well, I can't stop now. I've like put too much time into this. It's like wasted experience. Like, not in-game experience, but like mm -hmm. I have developed like these, the skill set, right? You don't want skill set, you know? It's mm. it'd be like sort of wasteful not to do it. That's true. But is that how is that how you apply your everyday life in in a way? Right, because like you can't just you don't just develop that just for a runescape, you know. Right, it's got to be one of those yeah, things. Like, yeah, I guess I'd make a bad gambler. You know? <laughs> yeah. Oh, actually, <laughs> don't gamble. <laughs> you yeah, it is a horrible <laughs> philosophy in gambling. That's how you go extremely yeah. right. Oh, I've already yeah. lost ten k. What's like you know putting another? Yeah. So after, yeah, yeah so. before we break down the infernal stuff, like I guess one more thing for me is like that. They're doing all of this, this journey. Did they like kind of like train you in a way, like your mental fortitude and stuff? Does it feel like now that you've done this, you can kind of like do anything you want in life? Does that really tr does that translate to anything like that for you? Oh, or you're just like I'm, fuck yeah, I'm just happy to be done. Like fuck this game, you know? And then, yeah, um, I I definitely think that like if it, I believe anybody, if they wanted to, they could do like anything they wanted in the game. It's just a matter of willpower i don't think there's anything too special going on here like i think if they try and flick for a few hours they'll figure it out and the biggest part about like low combat is the planning of it and since exact did all that he did all the actual hard work and i just you know copy and pasted with the mechanics that i was able to copy him from copy off him in terms of like mm. when i'm feeling like oh i could conquer the world or something <laughs> not really right now but i'm thinking like like i'm uh, glad to be done but now i'm like really bored with no like goals anymore yeah yeah guess, uh, you kind of went for something extremely extremely hard so yeah i don't know if there's anything else i can fill that void maybe make an iron man i'm just kidding yeah, but like wait till uh um <laughs> league three not league three sorry raid three. Oh, actually uh, actually a good way to segue into the next one would be um you said you said you know uh exactly developed a lot of the the strats right for you to just 
utilize. But I, I have I have a feeling though you 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 yourself along with you know some of your uh, friends kind of like figure out some other ways to yep, refine absolutely. the method, right? Absolutely. Right. So uh, you know you got to give some credit to yourself and your your friends for really kind of like you know perfecting it, I guess, right? Because I remember watching it of course over the over the year plus and you know, hearing some like new strats that you guys were figuring out yeah that two, I never that, heard, so. two that come to mind are yeah. relating to the zuck meta method while yeah. we've been talking like the whole first bit of the inferno has been playing in the background normally with exact method you're what we're doing here is like getting all the mages stacked up to cap them so nothing else spawns and you can ignore it and just pray mage for the rest of the fight to minimize XP, okay, hang on, let me explain the cap first of all. A yeah, total well, maybe of... you could explain like the whole beginning even, you know, like the waves even, if you want. Well, like... damn, I had something in before, before we started doing some video uh, searching, because we're going to actually go through the video of him and then explain each part that he wants to explain. So maybe even cool. find the waves as well, you know, just like, just because like, I feel like it, it makes more sense. Oh, excuse me. It makes more sense kind of like. You know, start viewers from kind of like a beginning mm -hmm. of the process and then leading up to like the ultimate finale, you know? For sure. Like, I'll explain how like the waves went. I don't think I like want to bring the VODs up because it's mostly okay, yeah, yeah. just like, yeah, just mailing for 95% of the video, yeah. you know? So the unique part about the waves is being diligent with keeping the pillars safe. Um, so that they last longer, so that you can melee easily for longer. So you want the pillars to last until about mid fifties. In this attempt, in particular, it lasts until wave fifty-eight. So after the mid fifties, you can relax a little bit in terms of meleeing everything, and you could start. You could finally pull out your crossbow, you know. So the, that's the waves. What's like um, the hardest part about meleeing them in general? Like the, aside from the pillars, like what are like the mechanical nuances that you kind of need to really master to be able to do that? I think it's like, what is it? P3 Verzik, where you just step in on the tick where it's like trying to hit you. And, so and that... flick prayer at the same time. Yeah, yeah, oh, exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. So mm -hmm. the mailing part is like one dimensional. It's so like simple, but the complexity of it is where you would scout the wave you know where everything spawns and you're like okay where can i stand where i can force the nibblers to go to a specific direction so that i can hit them on that pillar specifically while making sure that nothing does any damage to me yeah so we're talking about wave solving right so like what what is the process of wave solving like you know i, I know like there was like a website you guys were kind of like using to help figure out like yeah. the optimal angles and shit like that and how yeah. long would how long would like the typical wave wave solving take? You know, kind of like um, before it used to take a lot. Oh, so man, I feel like we're going on so many tangents, but they, I think no, it's they, they all they all yeah they all go um, towards this. Yeah, there was a change to scouting made about a month ago. If you guys know anything about Inferno scouting, it's when that. you log in at the beginning of the wave, look at where everything is, and click log out and. Um, if you stand on a specific tile compared to where all the other NPCs can spawn, it's very, very unlikely that one will see you on the tick where you're looking at everything right before you spam log out. Okay, so that's scouting. Um, it's been changed about a month ago in this way. So before, on that specific tile where you're standing, one out of the nine NPC spawn points could have a major ranger on it. And if that happens, then your scout is interrupted and the major projectile travels to you. And then it's like, oh, sorry, you have to wait 10 seconds before logging out. So now you're penalized for 10 seconds with the nibblers eating on your pillars. So that was a big mess. Not so much for this 39 because there's another scouting method that's used um, that involves fake logouts. Um, but that mechanic changed a month ago in that you don't get penalized for 10 seconds anymore. As soon as the projectile reaches you, your account logs out. Wait, so why did they huh. do that change? Was it in response to people like wanting to do something like this or they just decided? Yeah, it sounds like it, right? It was um, in response to all the fake logging stuff that like Randy was doing and everybody else was doing. Like that was go running rampant. People 
myself included, were running around in the PvP <laughs> area like like fake logged and no one could target the... you for fun. Oh, so so there was an advantage in PvP for that stuff. Oh no, just messing around, but that you can imagine all the exploits where you can like just run through without NPCs acknowledging you. Like Oh, ah, uh, okay. So uh, yeah, I guess we shouldn't go too deep into that, I guess. But like yeah. I get the idea. Uh-huh. Yeah, but okay, in okay. fixing that, they somehow accidentally or intentionally or unintentionally changed the scouting mechanic in this way. So how that ties back to wave solving, it made it significantly less complex. Before, you couldn't start the wave standing next to, next to an NPC because that NPC will target you and then you lose. And if it went the wrong direct, if the nibblers went the wrong direction, you, you have to click log out and you're penalized for 10 seconds. And that that pillar that it just went for is like just like lost half its health. Now, if oh, you click okay. log out and you st- stood next to an NPC, and it went the wrong way, and you click log out, you'll just instantly log out with no penalty. And Oh, I, wow. That's huge. That's actually huge. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, so you can consistently kind of keep the, the pillars lasting to, like, the 50s every time if you, if you don't make mistakes. If you don't make mistakes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. I think the wow. PB for uh, one of the attempts where the pillars lasted the longest was wave 62. I lost pillars at wave 62. Wow. Where, to put things into perspective, I think... And I don't think Exact was like intentionally trying to keep the pillars as long as possible because he didn't need to for 40 combat. But Exact lost its last pillar on wave 51 in the run that turned out to be his 40 combat completion. Mm. Ah, I see, I see. Okay, okay. So, yeah. all right, okay. So, so is there anything else to the whole the pre waves? Like, hmm, I'm trying to think here. Like the program. Oh yeah, yeah. Like the 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 line of sight program you guys used. You want to talk yeah, a little bit it, about that? Yeah, it was Backseat's uh, invention. Backseat Inferno, who was like an OG. I don't think he like streams anymore, but anyways, he he made a tool in which you can plot out where all the NPCs are. You could put where you're standing and just scroll your mouse and just like tick, 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 and all the NPCs go to where you are. So you can move yourself and the next tick, move yourself. Like you can uh... probably see the tool. So it's useful in that you can tell when the NPCs will attack you and you know. Did you, did you have way. to use it even towards the end, or did you get used to like the the waves so much that you didn't need to? I I still used it just to be careful. Um, oh, okay, okay, yeah. yeah. You can never be too precise, I guess, on your own. Yeah, absolutely. Like, okay. there's one th- like thing that's killed me a few times, and I'm sure nobody knows this because it doesn't matter to anybody else doing Inferno. But each NPC has their own PID, so in relation to who takes priority in their path. Um, obviously, the bigger ones have higher PIDs, so they're like, move, move aside, I'm going first, and then the other one goes behind it or whatever like that, right? Then okay. you look at bats. Two bats, you think, like, okay, who has a higher PID? One of them actually has higher PID than the other. So in terms of the sequence in which you put them into the tool, the one you put down first has higher PID, but when you scout it, you just see two bats. You don't know which one has higher PID. Oh, so you have to use the tool to, to um. How does the tool plug them in both that, ways? I guess. So if you put one bat in one location first, and then the other in another, the one you put down first has higher PID rel- relative to that. So what you do is, you use the tool, um, to solve it that way, and then you open another tab and do it the other way, where you put the other bat first, and you know. Oh, so then you find like a uh, like a middle ground or something like a middle. Solution? Yeah, so you oh. exactly you solve in a way where it doesn't matter. Like ah, uh, okay, so, like, and that works all the time, or like is there sometimes where like you're just fucked? Like there's no middle ground. I guess I I haven't found a wave where it hasn't been solvable. Oh, okay, okay. So wow, well, that's actually a, crazy. Yeah, Rexy like, man, are you are you following any of this? Are these PVM higher minds just absolutely just? No, I think Rexy understands. No, I, I'm, yeah, I, I'm going along with it. It makes sense. Oh, yeah, I, yeah. I'm just I'm just thinking how I just had this thought a minute ago. I was just like, man, like obviously as a community player base and so forth, like we've got older and we've got better at the game. But like, I was just thinking, this is like, science. Would, would this stuff <laughs> even be possible without that kind of software being available? You know. Or yeah. how much harder it would be if there weren't, you know, 
third party websites that can like scout and tell you the different PID that the bats have that are identical. It's insane. Well, you know? yeah, no, but well, like, but like, I don't want to like this. I don't want to undermine it because like I've seen other types of like you know games like Minecraft. Like people use software to do like their world record stuff that I've seen. Oh like, yeah. Like they'll have like no, extensions no. to like tell them exactly. Which like I don't know which line of sight like will will guarantee you this thing that you're trying to go to or something yeah. like it's, no yeah, it's I, crazy. I definitely I'm not trying to undermine it like, yeah it's, it's yeah, huge. yeah yeah even with that program to me that just sounds like extra like headache because you got to pay attention to something else instead of just you need a you need a big brain man like yeah, absolutely you know like this is, you absolutely yeah, got a big is, brain man this is insane Honestly, I think yeah. as well like the <laughs> the patience like dude you see how long is how long have we been going for an hour. This man's just bad. killed one healer. <laughs> I'm right. The boss is back on max health again. It's like the, the patience that you must have to do this is just uh, unbelievable. It, yeah, it really it's is. it's it's but, profound. It's sorry, profound. Sorry, I was like zoning out there just thinking about how like technology. It, it's like it's an amazing thing because it allows things like this to happen in a. How do I put this? More of like a. Um, scientific uh, you know it's really scientific i'm not yeah gonna... yeah more scientific like more organized like instead of it just being brute force it's like there is like mm -hmm. math behind this which is just nuts you yeah know? Every, honestly every step he makes in this is math like you know yeah, no it joke literally, it literally is math i'm just watching it and just like it, it, it like makes sense to me but it's just so much that you have to comprehend <laughs> It's like, bruh, to, to even want to attempt this, your mindset, man. Why You should have tried to cure cancer or something, man. <laughs> I, think, yeah, he I, bring that I up. think he will. I'm like, we got the biggest minds out here speedrunning RuneScape bosses. Why aren't they out there solving world hunger? I mean, I just, it's crazy, bro. And um, What crazy, a man would yeah. do to have fun. Tired about technology and also speedrunning. I was going to bring this up. It, every i don't if you guys know it's what like speedrunning is to the community break. man yeah. uh it's well i guess you have runescape speedrunning with quest and monsters and you also have older games where you can beat sonic as fast as possible and the community just kind of builds these games up until you just have some crazy time with crazy strats that no one would know they go into the code they delve deep they find things even the creators didn't know and it almost feels like that's exactly what's happening yep. with infernos man oh absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. yeah and it's really cool to see there's a whole history behind it too. And I kind of, I, I don't know if we're explaining the very beginning of the waves. Cause honestly, my, my mind was playing circus music. I was trying, <laughs> and I was trying to understand that shit. I was watching worry, this. Brother. Don't worry, um, brother. But I would love to uh, also get a background of the history, right? Cause I feel like every Inferno guy who does speed runs knows how it started and who took the record at the time. Cause when I saw Inferno come out, I'm like, dude, no one's getting this on a pier. And like two weeks later, someone got a level 69. I'm like, how? Right. So I don't know if you know the full history of the Inferno to where you're now level 39. <laughs> I don't really know. Uh, with respect to speedrunning, I'm definitely not the person to talk to. There's a speedrunning Discord. I feel like, yeah, I feel like that's a different community. Well, not uh, speedrunning, but I'm saying like uh, low level combat. I feel like they go hand in hand, right? They're both challenging, oh, yeah. right? Fastest time versus lowest account. Yeah. Like, um, I think. Maybe I, I think it was I don't want to get this wrong, but I think Adbom was the one who first got like a sub sixty combat infernal cape. So um he started doing like Tebow pures at like 55, 57, 58 combat. Um and then one day Exact did like this strategy and that where he's stacking all the mages and he got a 50 combat infernal with like a rune crossbow. And then he went and beat his own record and got a 46 combat inferno. And mind you, at the time, there was no line of sight tool like that. So he like, must have done it like on paper where he's like, okay, tick one, I'm here, these guys are there. Tick two, I'm moved ahead, so these guys are retargeting, so they'll start moving in this way instead of diagonally, for example. Holy shit. You know, so there's some Honestly, really cool respect to ways that he exact, did. Dude. That's some big brain shit, man. God. Yeah. I'll just, you know what's so I'll just funny, wait, I'll man. wait for the Slayer Music Guide to come out, and then I'll follow that. <laughs> Yo, honestly, though, like, like one day we should get exacto, but I remember, like, kind of, like, first, like, talking to him for the first time. It's so funny because, like, he was also a PKer, and then he, like, transitioned to PVM. Like, I remember he was like, Yo, I, I, I remember watching your Raids videos, and they look fun, so I started PVMing. <laughs> and, like, now he's, like, you know, way, way beyond, like, 
<laughs> you know, me and shit. It's crazy. I now he's people, like, people just want to challenge, so funny. man. And like, yeah, and well, that, some people, some people. No, I wouldn't say people. True, like, true, true. Very but like, like I, sorry, I, I should be more specific. Like, regarding yeah. PKers, PKers is like a challenge. Yeah. And like, there's a huge challenge to becoming a good PKer, uh, regardless of what mm. kind of PKing it is. And it's yeah, like, absolutely. that same challenge can be found in the game, except from it's not like a self inflicted challenge necessarily. Like, the Inferno is a challenge on its own. You don't really need to like limit yourself, unlike mm. Absol. But like just just doing it on a main is a challenge and enough, you know. Uh, and I think that's not good. That's so good. People that enjoy a challenge, like once you've completed this content, it, it's like you might want to try it on a, an account which is more restricted, and like see if you can do it. Just because it is fun, you know, it really is fun. Yeah, uh, you can continue the history, boss. Oh, um, yeah. Oh so shit! You got Look at you, five that. HP, real quick. Did you see oh, that? Would you yeah, like to explain was, that right there? Where were you was thinking that we got five yeah. HP? Um, so I don't. So we were talking about uh, the math that goes behind a lot of this stuff. One thing that me and Unpredictable came up with was a specific pattern that we walk along with the shield relative to the healers, so that you dodge the fireballs. So what we can control is one: when you tag the healer. Two, you know what the frequency in which the healer is attacking you at. And three, you know, like, you can move with the shield because you know where it's going to be on a specific tick. Oh my so gosh. we had to plan that out. And it's no accident that the side healers took almost, we took almost no health, no damage here. But the middle healers, I was too lazy to come up with a walk for it. So we're just getting <laughs> destroyed. <laughs> no, yeah sorry but i was i was listening i'm like oh shit he almost died in the background but, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but short all right so you didn't have a calculated walk for it but you you weren't just blagging it were you you must have known that you had enough food to survive or were you yeah really he was freestyling he was freestyling in the middle yeah yeah the middle ones are like freestyle but like to make sure that there is enough food because this is water blast and not and it's like really low dps uh, I just made sure to heal after the other ones so that I can have... I made sure to health regen after the side yeah. ones as much as possible so that there's enough food for the middle ones to just not have to worry about. Yeah, I, I feel like we're going a bit out of order, but like, so did you finish like your his the chronological lowest combat? Uh, yeah, topic? I think the, yeah. the story ends with after 46, Bodhi was like, yo, who can get lower? And then like, you know, some people were trying to go for lower combat and this was 2020. And I remember that. I know, Mulgo Kirby was like stacking stats. He had it down pat. It was like great. So everybody was like, had his eyes on him. And one day, <laughs> yeah. he just goes live, and people are like, and he calls the the VOD lower. He just, <laughs> oh, he over. And called lower. And you're like, oh my God, what the hell is this? It's over. Nobody it's expected over. to see 40 combat. Nobody. I like, remember yeah. that day, bro. Yeah, Rice was he, losing his shit. I was yeah, losing my dude. shit. I didn't even know what was going on. That was wild. Yeah, you yeah. can ask Bodhi for the for the money because Exact beat himself, so that doesn't count, you know. <laughs> you know what I, mean? I was yeah, I was gonna say, man, it'd be cool because it seems like RuneScape should be a community built game, right? Obviously, and yeah, there's these uh, just, communities that compete with each other. Why not bring in some some prizes for them, right? Some some crazy yeah, prizes. Yeah, honestly, yo, we'll tag Inferno. You get like five grand. I don't know. Yeah. Bro, we'll tag Bodhi and be like, all right, so he's the actual winner of the competition. <laughs> like, but it shouldn't be he had his Bodhi. Terms. It shouldn't yeah, it's be like terms. Bodhi's great yeah, donating charities, but it should not yeah. be Bodhi that that is is dude, it's Jagex, man. Start Yo, Jagex should totally acknowledge Bodhi. this stuff for sure. That's yeah. freaking and not, not just that, like speed runs, skilling, everything, bro. There's so many built-in communities that run off this stuff and they compete with each other just for fun. But I mean, if they want to build out their game. Throw yeah. them some. Throw them a bone, man. That'd be Bro, so cool. They, they could can make, make a um, tournament out of it, too. They could make, like, an obsidian statue of you, like, outside of the Inferno somewhere. That'd be cool. Bro, what if there were statues made out of sight of every incredibly hard boss of the fastest kill? Or not the fast. sorry, the, the well, fastest or lowest. Maybe there's two statues, man. They just, it like, would, different It would roses. be really cool. The only issue with it is <laughs> someone might come along and be it. You know, yeah, and then yeah. they fucking remake it, dude. We got the best <laughs> artist. Just whip, whip another one up, bro. It took you what, like five thousand hours for this shit? They go like two hours of drawing for a statue. Yo, right. Absol, I got a question. Uh, why aren't you using uh, Rapid Hill, the prayer? 
I'm guessing uh, it was a calculation, right? That would drain its prayer, bro. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So if we left it on, it would have cost a, a few prayer points to gain XP, to gain HP a little bit, f like twice as fast. Yeah. Or I could do it for absolutely free and just wait. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Because if you prayer flick, but one's on, it still drains it, right? All right. So, okay. So um, we last left off the wave scouting and we kind of, you, you kind of cover that a lot, right? So what, 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 Okay, so I, I'm I'm assuming the jab portions aren't too much explaining, but we should probably get into that and then obviously talk about Zuck, right? So, yeah. So, yo, Rachel, can of... you cut to where he fights Jad real quick? Yeah, that was watching that back like me thirty minutes. It was crazy. Oh well, not that Jad, not the Zuck Jad, the Jads before the Zuck Jad. But I don't oh, think the that was triple much. Jads. Yeah, the, the, the single and the triple. Yeah. Oh shoot! So you can talk about it. Let you can probably see. talk about it. Yeah. So, uh, the first. Zuck attempt that I had, I was extra careful. So when I got to Jad on that attempt, uh, I had to melee it with a brine saber. <laughs> so oh my god! That took about seventy minutes. I have the recording and everything. <laughs> oh my and god! After minutes. that, on this oh. account, when I got to Jad again, I was like, "Nah, I'm, I'm budgeting magic XP for this. There's no way I'm gonna do that." But it wasn't all that much faster, so. Um, like what, 50 minutes? <laughs> yeah, something something like that. I had oh to um, budget the ra range XP in a way where you're only ranging three jads. One during Zuck and two during triples. So one of the triples and single jad, these two you have to either mage them or melee them. And I decided to mage them. And, you know. Okay. As and because like, you splash so much, you need to take that calculation into account to make sure that you have enough magic experience to take them down. I think it could be up to like 20k XP to kill a single Jad. It was, so it's a bit RNG. What if, if you went over, then your combat level goes up too If high. I went over, I would have just went back to meleeing it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So it was like you got you got a backup plan and everything. So like, how how does like the trapping, you know, like we can talk a little bit about trapping the 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 healers that spawn because like you need to trap them, right? Because there's no way you're gonna flick all of them on top of kiting Jad in and out with melee or something. Yeah. So trapping healers at triples is okay. You you can just tag one of them off, and if you have to, just kill one of them and then go to the other side of Jad and tag them so they can't reach you. So that one's not too complicated. Yeah, now, while maintaining the uh, attack speed pattern of all three properly, right? Uh, yeah, like, yeah well, while continuing to flick them, yeah. Um, in terms of trapping the Jad healers at Zuck, that's the whole point of, like, yeah, mm -hmm. the activity after we stack all the mages. You see how one of them is dragged east? Yeah. It's to yeah, block the maybe. Yeah, yeah. yeah, maybe oh, we so should talk about the... the yeah, maybe, yeah. So now that Jad's covered, we we should probably start with the stacking, right? First, yeah. before we get into the suck Jad and all that. We're we're at like the the cream of the crop now, you know. So there, dude, really, yeah. I think dude. I think that like, dude, honestly, oh, man, you crazy. shouldn't. By the way, you can underplay your genius here because I understand, mm -hmm. right? It's like you took exact math, okay, but then you made some adjustments. Like, sure, he was the original formulator. But you took that, and you were like, "I'm gonna, I'm gonna beat this motherfucker. I'm gonna take a combat level off of his." Do you know what I mean? Like you, you had to add your own math to it. You just, you, you did use his, but you shouldn't it, undermine yeah. yourself. Like this is huge. Yeah, you kind of, you kind of did him dirty. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yo, so, <laughs> kind of like, but like the the thing is, the viewers probably aren't gonna understand what we just talked about. So we should probably explain. He should probably explain okay. the initial star of Zuck, like the whole stacking, the concept of it. Like, you know, how it works. I feel like... Yeah. Take the show, so, man. In terms of the Zuck strategy for low combat, you don't have that much... Like, there's a timer between every set. And you can't kill all the mages in time before the next set spawns. You wouldn't want to because you want to use them later. But you stack all the mages and... I'll, I'll explain 40 combat first. And you and you kill all the rangers every time they spawn. So set one, you have one of each. You kill the ranger. Set two, you have two mages and one ranger. You kill the ranger again. Set three, you have three mages and one rage. And you keep doing this until like you have seven mages. And then it's capped. You get to spawning Jad. But you don't spawn Jad until you move the mages around. So you have seven mages. 
you do the step under technique to get one of the mages all as east as possible so that you're blocking the front tiles of Jad. As you could see here, like you see the eastmost mage is blocking all of Jad's healers, uh, Bro, front tiles. Crazy. <laughs> Yeah. And the reason is because after you spawn Jad and you get it to half HP, the healers will spawn. And the healers want to try and heal Jad. If they spawn right next to Jad, you have to tag them off because they can heal him right away. If they spawn in the Major, they can't reach Jad if they spawn like one tile north, for example. So you don't have to bother tagging them. So the benefit is now you can tag the healers off Jad without the healers coming at you and smacking you 13s left and right. Yeah. I mean, so, would, this, would this even be possible if that were to happen? Or is that just not... Oh, absolutely, yeah. Like, in terms of, you don't have to um, build the wall. The alternative is that you do what Exact tried to do on his first attempt at his group hardcore Iron Man Zuck attempt. Now, what he was trying to do was flick Jad, flick the mages, and flick all three of the healers, or like <laughs> the healers that are on you. It's possible, though, I guess. Yeah, uh, Unpredictable did it in one of his like videos, yeah. That's it's absolutely possible, but like that's it's the so path of most resistance, I feel. So, yeah, so yeah. If you were to do this on... You're like, like water, like, dude. You're like water. On a regular pure account with like a Tebow, like max gear, 99 range, etc. Because this is like, so every every wave is like a puzzle right and you gotta think of the best way to do it so like this is something that i struggle with myself because as a one defense those healers fuck you up man <laughs> like they will pound you so i'm yeah. always thinking like is it best just to brute force dps them or like with a blowpipe or is it better to try to pray flick them because it's literally just you the healers and jad because obviously i wouldn't do this craziness with the, all the mages like, what would be your advice to somebody who's trying to do this on a pure with the healers attacking you? On a pure? Um, I hope you're comfortable with flicking Jad, but you don't have to be. Uh, flicking, yeah, like one tick flicking Jad and that you only have your prayer up on the tick where Jad's actually attacking. That yeah. way you can keep your melee prayer on all the time, except for that one tick that Jad attacks and then you go back to melee, for example. That way you minimize the damage you take but the oh, that's not realistic for somebody going for their first pure cape, maybe. Um, the alternative would be, or not even alternative, the only good advice I think I could give them is make be mindful of when you're triggering the healers. Because if Jad heals a lot, because you triggered healers and you're like, oh my god, hang on, I wasn't ready. And then like you're, like, you're panicking, running with the shield, and then finally you blood brush them off, and Jad's already 75% health again. Yeah. Now you you have the healers on you for like another two minutes instead. It could have been on for another minute. So just tag the healers off as smooth efficiently yeah. as possible. And um yeah, try to you, you do your best to ignore them and pray melee in between as much as you can. This is making me want to do it on my pure watching this. Like, really? It's making me never, ever, <laughs> ever want to attempt this, man. Oh my no, god. No, no, this is dude, this is like Inferno on ultra steroids. You know, you don't this is not how Inferno usually goes. It's yeah. much easier. It's much easier. Bro, you can literally uh, run around this place with a bulwark on some of the waves, Mike, and just take like no damage. Yeah, well how main in, gonna, yeah, main there, inferno there ways, speed. There are ways yeah. of doing this which are I wouldn't say yeah. easy, but they're they're less harsh. You know? Yeah, I call that the cheese method in front. Those are how, much easier. Dude, how am I gonna buy a bulwark? They're so expensive now. I don't. How much? Are they? Bro, you have like a hundred. How much? How, are they you, you got like a hundred in your fucking. I can't bank, afford dude. one of those big old shields, dude. There's so much money, bro. Dude, how much? Are they <laughs> right now? How much? They're like, like nine point five. Oh, I'd say. Yeah, nine point five. How much did you buy them for? Wasn't it like four? Was it four mil? Two. Two. Damn. Two. Five. <laughs> 400 percent increase in profit you know and the only thing they're doing is making them stronger every day i don't know what the problem is but they they need a buff apparently every time i think it's because the j mod that wanted the rune berserker shield it just didn't get in the game so he's like all right this is it gotta make Turn the it. shield the best <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay um where were you at yeah you're talking about trapping ja uh, jads yeah yeah so for 40 combat the sequence is identical and what she, the order of operations of stack all the mages and then like move one over and then trigger Jad and then kill Jad for 39 combat. The only thing that changes is 
you want to save XP. So how do you, what's, where's an opportunity in that sequence for you to save XP? So there's a cap of seven NPCs that can be out at the same time. So you know how we were talking about you have one of each set and then you kill one of them and the next time one, e one of them spawn again and then so on and so forth and on the fourth set, whatever. For 39, you keep all the rangers alive and here's why. So on the third set, you have three of each and you keep them alive. On the fourth set, since the cap is seven, only a major can spawn. You don't get a fourth Ooh. ranger. Oh, so, saves you a lot of time from killing rangers. Yeah, and before the next set, you kill one ranger. So now you're at six again, so another major will spawn. So the total number of rangers that you have to kill doing this method is only three. So there are three Oof. full rangers that you don't have to kill, and that's a lot of range XP that you save. That's the equivalent of being able to straight that... range one of the 60s. So like, who figured that out? Like, which group unpredictable. of people? I did. Oh, sorry. Oh, you did. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, okay. Damn, that's crazy. Because I remember that, like, if you stacked, uh, you know, a certain amount of mages, you're good. But I didn't know that there was also an overall cap between the two minions. That's that's very yeah. interesting find. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I remember when this exact did uh, I remember when exact did I think he killed all the rangers every single time, right? Yeah. Yeah. Holy when shit. When you when yeah. you go to bed, dude, do you like have dreams of this cave at all? Like you wake up and you're like, oh shit, lava, you know? Yeah. Um, Thirty nine combat in the in the dream. Nightmares, man. Dude, I'd assume <laughs> you would have dreams that you wake up and you got like green chaps on you're like, oh shit, I'm like four. Yo, are you looking younger like... now, bro? You know? <laughs> now that okay, it's okay. over. Yeah. Yeah. No gray hairs, man. Oh, I've got plenty. Perfectly fine genetics, sir. <laughs> Below the never mind. Uh <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. You explained it, right? I don't yeah, know. How long how long does that right? part take? You know, from, from the stacking all the way to a jad spawning. What, how long does that take usually? So in the time where you're where for 39 we're stacking the sets and we're killing um yeah, stacking the sets and building the wall, we don't get on Zuck at all because there's he's just going to regen like 20 health or something, right? If you take 20 minutes to do whatever you have to do to build a wall and stuff, and you've already attacked Jad, Zuck, he's going to go and heal 20 health. And that amounts to something, you know, that's a lot of XP. Cause so I don't know if knowledge. Yeah. So that like, point. Oh, it's not been bad. 20 minutes to stack the sets and build the wall pretty much 20, 25 minutes tops. And then you could get on Zuck. The reason why it's a little annoying to, have Zuck regen health is because there's an XP multiplier on it. Oh, you know right, how yeah. normally you hit a, a 100, you yeah. should get 400 range XP, but for Zuck, you get 630. So it's 2.1 mm. times mm. instead yeah, of damn. one times. Or Wait, is I that, forget is something that, like that. so many things against you. Is that, is that mm -hmm. like a bug, do you think? or is that No, that's a boss thing. Uh, other bosses do it too. Like, Tob, have you noticed, Tob, your XP drops are disgusting? Yeah, yeah they, I have yeah, not I noticed. I, dude, I've never really questioned it though i've never really thought yeah a lot of bosses have xp multipliers yeah damn dude right so i got a question here right i i love the fact when you throw the chins at the majors and it just splats them and aggro's the new one so um did you have like a timer like were you looking at a timer or were you listening to what's like the visual the cue i think that's what you look yeah, yeah yeah or were you just waiting for the visual ball to hit the shield like what was the thing that let you know that another one had spawns um, oh, that now that's a good question. I don't think a lot of people like are mindful of this pit, but mm -hmm. uh, oh, you can turn the uh, music down on the VOD itself, just so. Or do I have it up? Yeah, I I don't up. Do sorry. That. Okay, <laughs> so um, after Jad spawns, you can think of it as it extends the cap from seven NPCs to eight. So as soon as Jad dies, another mage takes its place. So that's why I had to tag it again there. So um, question. So right? yeah, go on. So because you know you you set it up the, so the majors attack all at the same tick, right? So how, how do you know when you should go from the transition of Jad dying to tagging that other major? Because if if because like the other major could be off tick, right, and it could kill you, right? So how do you make Absolutely, sure that doesn't, yeah, how do you make sure that they are always upon Jad death, it's on the same tick. What's the I think here? there is one out of four ticks in which you can attack Jad and have it so that that eighth mage will never be on ticked. 
with the rest of the stack. So you want to make sure you don't get it on that take. So what's the time? If you clicked on Jad, um, one tick after you clicked your magic prayer. So you clicked magic prayer to pray mage, and then you click Jad. If you did that to kill the Jad, I think that is the one. If I'm remembering correctly, where it'll die, and by the time it dies, the new one spawns, and it's on a tick that like you can't get it. Okay, so the odds are in your favor. Okay. Yeah. And you just have to be mindful of that one specific okay, timing. I got gotcha. you. Okay, you don't okay. want it to, yeah. Okay, so that's fairly reliable then. In terms of cues uh to look for, uh I, I use sound cues, so like mage attacks two, three, four, and I on four I want to click on the the eighth mage if I'm next to the mages. But if it I'm like really far from the mages, the chin travel time is like a tick longer, so you want to click on the mages yes, on three for that, for that example. Dang, so there's just so many different scenarios to keep in mind in order to make sure you, you do this all on the same take, like get them all on the same take. Yeah. So so how much how much scenarios is that? Like two? Like uh if it's two if it's far away, it's like an extra tick that you have to mm -hmm. adjust for? Okay, I see, I see. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So what's Jeez. next? <laughs> what's next? <laughs> <laughs> What's next? Um, Would that be the healer phase? No, no, you're prepping Jad. No, this, this, the, this See, is try, now we're back at I the Jad prep. Okay. Yeah. yeah, so I think in the video that's showing right now, we're back right before the Zock healer spawn. And for the first Zock healer, I think I didn't have to eat any food, or I ate one food for the whole thing. But then obviously the other ones were a lot more rough. Yeah, you can scroll past a bit more, Rick, if you want. Cause that's a long one. That part that part takes a long time. Oh, so go back a minute just to just to so I can maybe explain. Yeah, um, cause that's such a beautiful thing. The first healer. Yeah, so go back to when we're tagging it, like the tagging a time. A bit more. A bit more. Do you know yeah. what the time is on this? Is it fifty-seven? I don't know. <laughs> like yeah, just... since yeah, here we go. Here we go. All right, all right. Watch this. So. Thing. The time in which I click the healer and the timing to which specific tiles I click on the floor are all planned out. You can see I'm like moving my mouse as I'm keeping time. God, that would stress me out. Yeah, yep. so this way you can't mess up. Uh, it, hmm. You can't. And so really you only attack up. one at a time because I was watching while you guys were talking. I couldn't understand what you guys were talking about at the time. And you only attacked one. And then when that died, you go over to the left one and then the middle. Is there, is there a reason? For that as well yeah you, you'd get annihilated if you tried to do all the healers at the same time okay. like you, you'll die in like 30 seconds because <laughs> i mean usually mike you can kill these healers with a blowpipe in like three hits or so they're not crazy mm -hmm. hard but this man's using bloody water blast i did water by blast. the way water blast. Be before this i did notice the exact used uh fire blast was that the bolt, contributing yeah. factor oh was it bolt was it bolt yeah so he oh. was 50 magic, 51 magic. So at 51 magic, you can use the Tome of Fire and Fire Bolt. With the um, with the staff, his, his max is 19. Our max here is 15. I see, yeah, this I is guess. much worse. That Just the, the difference in one combat level, it makes it that much, you know? It's quite profound. So, man, I... you're losing I, four max hits, you if, know? If anybody hasn't clicked on yet, uh, obviously you're doing this on a high risk world, right? Yeah. So, oh, yeah. Um, PvP war, right? I'm trying. So I, no, I, I just realized. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I am oh so out of touch with PvP because I mean they they don't update that shit. But like, if somebody was waiting for you outside this cave, which I guess is unlikely, but you were streaming at the time, if they killed you, could you have ran back to get the cape, or would yeah, it have been right? gone? I, I can't um, remember. I'm out of touch with it with PvP worlds because this is high risk. It, it's pre-recorded, so the probability of somebody being outside is like close to none. But Okay. I'm pretty sure with PvP deaths, if you just die with your cape, it's broken and you go repair it. Okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, it's, been, it's, been, it's been a while. Yeah, yeah. Just, just for the fancy, you know, just for the yeah. fancy symbol. Could you no. imagine though, when he did his, if like yeah. it didn't come back and there was a guy out there, just a one dark bower, just <laughs> look at him. <laughs> I've been waiting for a 39 here for like a year. Oh, dude. Boom, there he is. It, so I'm, if I recall, I watched uh, your vod before this. And you were speaking about, um, and we spoke about earlier, about the worlds being unreliable with lag and stuff. Is that why you chose the high-risk world? Because you have lower ping or less chance to DC? 
Absolutely, yeah. So my friend Nabe and I were um, tracking the reliability of worlds for like a while. So we would log into a world and we would see the ping go up and down, up and down. And you can imagine how bad that up and down and up and down would have been in World 330, for example. Oh, it's terrible. That's oh, the worst. We'll never dude. go there. Empire. That'd be the next <laughs> challenge. All right. For that, that's never go there. World, I think, isn't it? It's disgusting. That world's yeah. disgusting, man. <laughs> and it turned out that this world, it, uh, high risk PvP worlds are were the most reliable at the time, and I hope it stays that way. Um, and that it would not go up or down substantially. And <clears throat> but e- despite that. Recently, the worlds have been really, really bad. Like yeah. the attempt before this that we're watching here, I died on wave sixty. Just straight up DC'd at the very end of the wave. Like, and I was still using the highest PP oh, world. So, oh, yeah. What, so the, yeah. What? Why is the high risk PVP world? I mean, hey man, you PK is complaining about not getting updates. You got the best worlds. That's your update. That's what you get. <laughs> right. It ain't great when there's no one on it. That's why it's no lag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i think it's like a population of 60 or something when i was doing this oh, you would have done it on the dead man mode server yeah, it was possible it's, it's like world 45 oh my god yo you, you know how i found out those worlds were the best ping i found out about that like not to humble brag but like i found out about that like like i don't know like six years ago or some shit oh, like when corp came out because like there was a there was like a whole month where bunch of like people like lizard squad and whatever you know were do- ddosing the crap of every world and i was the, you know i was very addicted i was like i need to kill my wyverns i have to kill skeletal wyverns i don't fucking care you know <laughs> i was like i need to play the game so i just like brute force every world and then like the the the, the high risk worlds ended up being uh, they were there they, they, that was a thing already those those worlds ended up being the most stable so ever since then i've like stuck to it and it's been like you know paying off yeah Except I lost my blowpipe that one time, but like it, it paid off. I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did you lose an AGS one time too, Rice? Yeah. No, but that's not. But that's when I went PKing with you, and I, we took I didn't. A PK, I, I, <laughs> did you yeah. get smited, or did you forget to protect me? No, I forgot to protect. I don't. That's I great. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, um, you yeah. asshole, yeah. man! I like yeah, nice. going yeah. into this podcast. I kind of realized this would be incredibly detailed, but knowing that the server is also on, like I thought it would be, but a high risk world, like that's a crazy detail, man. Yeah, I would everything. It's totally delighting. like reach out to Sir Pugger or Crumb and try to make a documentary on like the lowest infernal cave. And even if someone somehow snipes it, which I, I mean, who? I'll make why? it. I'll make that it. would be like right. in a couple months, anyways. Give me the rights. <laughs> like seriously, like those guys make pretty good documentaries. Oh, this is a good. pretty remarkable yeah. event. Everything is detailed. Everyone loves the details, man. You know what you're talking about. I'd, I'd reach out, man. It'd be a very, very good video. And I, I think Crumb would probably do it too. That man's been a Okay. Rice, you could do rice too, man. <laughs> nah, rice, I don't know. I've seen his good. edits. You know, you do it, man. <laughs> Absol. So, um, did you okay. have you heard anything from Exact? <clears throat> like, has he messaged you at all or anything regarding this? Because you beat his record. Yeah, he has a, must have said grats at least. You know, he just puts he a little frown face. Hey, he's been like super supportive through the whole thing. Actually, like, I'd be like, yo, I just DC'd again. He's like, yo, man. Don't worry about it. Yeah, he's like, oh, yo, dad, dude, I DC. Man, he's on the other end, just like pulling the root route. <laughs> <laughs> he's just, he's just there oh, don't worry, you got it next time. He's like, he's oh, like, really oh he DC'd again? Oh, yeah, that, oh like, that's so unfortunate, man. He tells hey, us join my like, team speak. We'll talk about it. <laughs> oh, dude. Uh, Actually, the, this week. the way that I died um, uh, so on the cute. first Zuck attempt, you know how we're talking about how that mage we dragged out east blocks the zuck healers mm. there's one tile that i'm pretty the jad sure healers, are you talking? yeah sorry yeah the jad healers <laughs> there's one tile that the jad healers can spawn on that it can't block and i got that very specific healer yo and was i it died on, stream? on the day. was it on yeah stream? oh my god i was watching that he, he was actually doing it live and i thought like yo he's gonna get it and then like then, oh, no. and then he was like, all right, just just really hope that this doesn't happen. And it happens, they're like, oh fuck. And the man's <laughs> over. So there's no save. Uh, there's no entangle or something. I don't know. Absolutely. No. Sorry. Um, do you know do you know how many attempts or how long it took exact to do his level 40? Because this took you about a year. It took ten it took attempts. Him ten, I think. Yeah. Damn. That skill, man. It took me 60. <laughs> Wow. And yeah, he's the one that invented it. And this was two years ago. 
And I mean, he didn't he have did like the scouting though. things. He, yeah, he didn't have a lot of the tools. Yeah. So yeah, you know, got to give credit where credit's due. You know, like yeah, Damn. for sure. <clears throat> Jeez, for sure, man. for sure. Okay, so what's kinda, the, you know, take a well, I was gonna, oh, wait, I was just go. bringing up that like, yeah. man, I was gonna say when I, you know the speedrunners, AGDQ, watching those people play extremely fast games in that community, uh, they'll just be like, okay, this so he invented yeah. the purpose. No, it's the same thing. It's a community. No, I mean like the pacing is the a strategy, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 So it's <laughs> like someone will invent a strat, and then someone will come along and perfect it, and then all of a sudden, like every time I watch a speedrun, they're like, all right, let me think, and it's just like twelve to fifteen people. <laughs> And this is exactly the same way where people just build yep. up these strats for, for doing Zuck, man. I mm -hmm. love it, dude. I couldn't do it. I learned a lot, you know, just just uh, having this uh, sit through and listening. You know, I learned a lot. I mm -hmm. mean, I will like, I will say just quickly on speed running, like it's entertaining when they do the glitches and they just like glitch from the tutorial to like the end game or whatever. But yeah. like, I don't know. I prefer the ones where they play through everything. And they do it like. Oh, you mean a proper yeah. speed run? Yeah, like yeah, the Pokemon, yeah. right? Like the ones where they gotta yeah. catch them all. Yeah. Oh yeah, my yeah. god, those are crazy, dude. dude and that's what it remind me of because. Oh yeah, everything... you're talking about glitches, glitches. No, not, not glitch. Well, no, it's like glitches runs, and they go into the data, and they're like, "All right, I need, I need to be on this route. It's a four percent chance. We got two balls. Um, well, everyone's got two balls. They got three balls, dude. They got a sleeper. All that shit. And I'm listening yeah. to this man over here, Apps, will talk about his inferno. I'm like, dude, this is. Right. Yeah, this you is Pokemon crazy. speed runs. This is, yeah, everything's awesome. mapped out. Everything's added together. If you make one fucking mistake, you gain a combat. There goes a month. Um, you know, it's 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 That's literal amazing. like fairy crafting on steroids, bro. We yeah, could yeah. be this scientific and mathematical. Like we could get dead man man strat, dead man mode strat. You know, like people do this. Like there are teams for dead man mode who will be planning out. You know exactly what they're gonna do, where mm -hmm. they're gonna camp, what like how they're gonna get there the fastest and stuff like that. You know, and I will say, Mike, if you do enjoy speed runs, I have one that you might want to do just for just for the lols. It's fun. Make brand new accounts on Tutorial Islands, and there is actually a speed uh, run records taken and kept for tutorial accounts. So how fast you can do Tutorial Islands, like from the start all the way until you're on mainland. And um, I did it for a while, and it's actually it's very addictive, and it, it's quite fun to do. I think someone did that on AGDQ and I was watching it and I wanted to try it, but I'm like, bro, at this time they'd be like, oh, yo, the first guy's got like pig, you got a gnome and then got the lobster pit and shit. And you got to hit that treat at the same time, do the, do the cooking tick. And you got these people doing nine things. Like here you unlock F keys, first ticket tutorial. Nah, fuck that. <laughs> yeah. I'll watch it though. I'll Dude, watch it. All right. It's, before it's, we, yeah, before yeah. we break the flow too much, uh, you know, last thing you want to say. Um, Told me. Or yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. Just, uh, I was just I was just I was just gonna say, man. Listen, I'm a brute forcer. Okay, I don't do the math. I just do the clicking, right? So it's <laughs> like um, with that speed running thing, uh, I actually managed to beat. I, it was it was like in the top three on the world records or high speed record thing for the tutorial island thing, um, but I fucked mine up because. I can't mm. remember what I did. I, th there's like really strict rules to like when you're supposed to click and stuff like that. And I did something slightly wrong. But regardless of that, the time was within like the top three. So you can you can definitely brute force it. And that's exactly what I yeah. did. Dude, when I first did my Inferno Cape, right? I brute forced the fuck out of that. I, I tilt ran. Like I said, I died twice in a row to Jad. Bro, I didn't stop. I kept going and I was like holding back tears like i just tilted <laughs> and i tilted and i tilted and i kept playing i was getting angry as fuck and i did that for like i think it was five days and i was playing 12 16 hours a day of just doing inferno when it first came out and when i finally got the inferno cape i i genuinely wasn't sure if i deserved it because i was like man did i just get lucky like did i just have really good rng or something so i was like okay i'm gonna get another one and then two attempts later, I got another one. And I was like, okay. I was like, something something has clicked and something has improved. And I was like, You've oh, ascended. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Weren't uh, you the seventh or something overall, Rixie? No, I was seventh? I was 15th, man. Bill, top 15, bro. Did they send you mm. a jacket for that mm. or something? Or what happened? Car, maybe? No, bro. Car. Do, you, do, you know, do you know what's really annoying? So <laughs> it actually, so Thursday is when they posted... Mm -hmm. And they listed all of the people who got the first Infernal Capes. I got mine like a few hours later in the early hours of Friday. Um, but I was in California at the time, so the time zones yeah. were all messed up. But, yeah, I, I was literally like a couple hours out from being on the website. But, hey, I'll get the. I'll get it's the sick. Time. It's sick. 
And and one thing before we get back into it, the the, the tutorial island speed running, I was thinking like, imagine being a J mod banning like these brand new bots. It's like <laughs> five thousand accounts were made today, and they just log the fuck out instantly. Are, are, should we ban them? Are they bots? Like <laughs> like what are we dealing with here? <laughs> just people keep making accounts. They do tutorial island, and that's it. I, I, so it's I don't know. I, dude, I used to do it to warm up my clicks legit i used to do it to warm up my clicks because it get you in like a good pattern because you have to memorize like where you have to press space bar and like when you have to like press one two or three and stuff like that and then you have to click mm -hmm. in certain ways it's actually really fun it's a good time nice yeah. all right let's get back to the continuation of um uh, the saga you know so so uh we we've, we're, we're at the healer part um talk when tell left. us a little bit about the middle like the middle parts of the healer and, and when was the timing with your gnome yeah give us a bit more about that gnome restaurant delivery system you know how you tie that in i to completely forgot the gnome was a to thing perfectly like timed that guy delivering some food to you and saving your ass you know in a tight situation like this wait you can I have him deliver to food in the inferno yeah, yeah he'll explain he'll explain yeah so the, the gnome <laughs> food is like a token you activate and then a terror bird like gnome guy pops up and says here's your food and it's like uber eats you do and that in a wild? You, I'm pretty sure, oh, but it yeah. stalls you, so you don't want to do uh, that. Yeah, I've never seen someone like, oh, I'm out, and just fucking a bird pops out. Yeah, you so know? like, you know, like how, the, how does the timing go, right? What's like the rules behind the timing, be, you know? Um, Kirby knows it really well in that he's figured out how to do it during Zuck in a way where you don't tank a Zuck hit. Oh, so Cur shout out Kirby? Kirby? Yeah, shout yeah. out Kirby. Uh, I didn't bother with any of that stuff. I just activated it when i had 10 free slots on like wave 65 <laughs> okay so but, but like was there any risk to kind of doing that off timing or without no, timing i just finished the wave everything paused i'm like all right activate the token boom terror bird when, wait so was that during uh just just like pre-suck or yeah or, yeah oh, like okay. during like mage oh. and two rangers or something like that as soon as oh, I have okay okay slots okay so open, it's it's fairly safe actually yeah because i remember like Seeing exactly that shit mid suck, and I'm like, what the hell? How do you, how do you yeah. time that shit? <laughs> it's like, how do you time that shit? So okay, so sure you it's didn't like need... a range in terms of like it can take between 25 and 35 ticks or something. I'm pulling that out of my ass. I don't know what. Oh, okay, okay. Is. So so like you just did it in a way where you didn't have to worry about it. Yeah, exactly. Oh, okay, okay, that, okay. So that yeah, you. I I think yours is is definitely the most refined of them all, like significantly, right? Because like you eliminated so many like risk you know like like healer spawning bad or like timing the extra food spawning etc yeah you really you really, first... really i think this is more of a like a it's like, like water you know you're really like smooth with that with the with the strats here just absolutely everything's been pinpointed down to a science except the, the two middle healers though I'm surprised you can't. You didn't really want to bother with that. I guess. I guess you were just that confident at that point after that many practices. Could you? Could you find a way to deal with those two healers? Oh, absolutely. They're supposed to be the easy ones. Oh, you said fuck so. It. If I if I didn't like plan out the side ones, I would have been fucked. Like, yeah. I mean, I would have been messed up even worse. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Ah, I see. That's why. You, yeah. You, you, it was. Why don't uh, Why don't you start with the middle ones? By the way, is that I, part of the plan? You could. You absolutely could. Uh, I just figured get the hard ones out of the way. That's what exact did. Gotcha. So. Okay. Gotcha. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Dude, okay, okay. I love, I love reading your chat while you're killing the uh, the healers and people are just like, just did use a blue pipe, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, know, you get some of the dumbest. No, no, sorry. I don't, that's, that's no, 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 don't finish your sentence because they are some of like the dumbest the, damn people. You know, and, uh, you, know, you know the people that are that don't even play the game, right? And they've seen like maybe 10 minutes from books and they're like, yo, just just use this weapon. And, like, and then it's not even inside your inventory. Like it's not even existing in that inventory. Yeah. Right now. I'm sure yeah. they're memeing. You know, they're yeah. just messing around. No, some of them are truly like they're oh, just okay. truly they don't there's think some lost people speak. out there. They don't right. think before they speak, man. There's a lot of those. I mean, there's a lot of people right. that probably wandered into the stream just like, oh, somebody's getting an infernal cape without like yeah. realizing. It's what like I can't happened. wait to learn from him. <laughs> and then it's like, wait, this looks different. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, okay, so uh yeah, uh, A majors, gotcha. You know, it's like no. Yeah. Okay, yeah. what's next, I guess? What what else I I don't um, think there's much else behind that. <laughs> Yeah, other things to talk about. We I budgeted the restores in a way where I didn't have to flick at all after the healers die. So you take the calculation of what your um, prayer mm. bonus is, how many prayer points a restore will heal you, 
how long can he camp prayers with those prayer points. So it came out to be just enough time for me to kill Zuck without having to actually flick um, based on the mm. DPS calcs. Mm, that's good. Um, yeah. The only other thing to talk about is uh, 38. <laughs> like there oh, are... Man. Yeah, I don't know about that. Okay, but so I, d- I just have a little over. question here, right? It seems yeah, like you didn't ahead. attack the healer going back. I'm guessing you were mentally preparing because once this healer is dead, it's just a walk in the park, right? So were you preparing your mind like this is about to happen right now at that point? I was. Um... Hang on, you're about to see a jet hit. Zuck hit. Oh, oh dude. what were you thinking God. right there? Were you like, <laughs> oh, oh my God. Oh, my God. Oh my god! I, did, I was streaming, so I didn't notice why you were doing the the hand moving like spam there. Yeah. Watching the chat. A, oh my god! Oh my it. god! <laughs> no, I I saw that in the Twitter comments. I thought they were joking. So yeah, break I've down been... break down your mental process right oh now during god. this situation. What do you remember? Um, just to answer your question from beforehand, uh, I was walking back and forth to health regen a little more because I wanted mm. to get the most amount of luck, uh, least amount of luck required for this. Oh. What I was thinking, um, uh, when I'm on the other side, I'm like, okay, I have time to eat food and like drink a brew and stuff to prepare for walking into that like minefield again. So that's what I'm thinking about when I'm away from the healer. And then when I'm with it, I'm like, all right, stay with the shield, click with the shield, click the healer. Um, I didn't want to manual cast because like, you can misclick on the shield. Like mm. if you try and cast the spell, you can click on the shield and it'll just stop you in place. And you'll lose ticks that way, and it's like high risk. So, uh, auto casting is better. Although you need to stall your your character sits there for like two ticks. And this was off stream. Yeah, this was six a.m. Uh, I did triples. Eight p eight a.m. I finished yeah. stuck here on April Fools. So perfect, uh, and that was intentional. Yeah, yeah, perfect day, man. What a setup! What a setup! Man, My God. The, so at this, dude, the April <laughs> Fools is the it was actually exact who was actually doing this for third party. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. So so this wasn't the perfect run per se, but did you only make one mistake during this whole uh, Zuck Zuck phase, or what? What, do you, what were we talking about here? Because I only for the Zuck phase. Yeah, I think that was the only mistake. Man, um, that, for the beautiful. waves, I think I don't. I don't think I got a chance either. Yeah, that was a near flawless run, like near flawless, like ninety nine point nine percent flawless right. run, dude. So I, I'd say it's very earned, very much earned, you know. I'm to assume though, at this Honestly. phase of the Zuck run, it's all you gotta do is kill Zuck now, right? Yo, or he's a free man. He's a free man. So this is like the most freeing part, but at the same time, the most like if I if I die right now, it's on me, right? Yeah, I, I, yep. You guys know how I uh, we were talking about the Obby account that I finished back in April of last year. That account died at 50 combat. It ended at 52 when I got it. It died at 50 combat with Zuck at 100 HP doing this bit. So <sighs> I threw the entire run and I was like, all right, that's, this is never going to happen again. Yeah. So I've been yeah. like careful ever since. Yeah, and, yeah, I don't see you... any shakes in your clicks at all. I mean, I would have been like, you know, wow. <laughs> just jittered everywhere Man, at the very I, last part. Dude, I was thinking that earlier. I, I, I know it's like really, really small details and I love it. Like, I saw that you had uh, two two doses of restore, and during all this madness, you had the time to like right click use on the other one because you're a neat and tidy <laughs> person. And like, it just made me think like, the first time you probably did this, your mouse is like shaking everywhere, and it's like you got one sip, two sip, another one sip. Like it's just <laughs> pure fucking like mayhem in your inventory. But yeah, uh, I love it, dude. It's so peaceful. Like and I'm watching this, I'm like, I feel at peace. Yeah, and it's great like because you have so much, happen. bro. You have so much supplies left over. You could do another Zuck, you know. Like, yeah, right. Totally not. I bro, guess it's time to us, break down that thirty-eight now, huh? Since yeah, what's the deal, yo? Easily yeah. have yeah. supplies left. Easy peasy. So thirty-eight is pretty exciting to talk about. Um, there's one I think viable method to do it, and it's not similar to forty or thirty-nine. Oh god. Um, neither Just of them one are. Combat level. A Just come one combat method, level, yeah. dude. God damn. Yeah, Holy both world. of them, are, uh, both of the 39 methods I'm not to talk about are brand new. One of them sort of like something unpredictable and I were talking about like last week after 39, we we're like, wait, can't we do this? And like, there's no vital way of making the account, which is a problem. So we'll oh. talk about the obvious one first. Um, 
you start Inferno at 40 range and about 20 HP or something. So not 30 like you do for 39 or 40. So you have to poison a heck of a lot. So each attempt you're poisoning so much, it takes longer to make the accounts. You have to jump into Inferno at 40 range, so your best in slot to kill the Nibblers are Rune Knives and Rune Throne Axes. Um, and even then, you can expect to lose pillars like a little before wave 30. And so, yo, the Rune Throne Axes are trash. Like, they're I, very I used bad. it. I used it even in leagues, and that's buffed like with, you know, relics and shit, and it was still trash. So, yeah, no, yeah. impossible. So, you have to myth cross, though, a lot. For 38, you have to finish Zuck at 49 range and 42 HP. I mean, 47 range, not 49. So, like, you unlock an Addy crossbow for like one co one range level, and that's it. Oh my god! So give, a, give us an idea. Um, so, why can't you build the account? Yeah. How much yeah. long? How much longer does it take to make each attempt to count for, for uh, 38? combat versus 39 what's the time difference in the prep uh the only time difference i think comes from the fact that you poison more in fight caves so fight caves might take you about seven hours as opposed to four so it's an oh. extra three hours or something it's, it's just, it's just three. you know it's just 50 percent longer yeah no, but, but, but you said why you said it's not ma makeable right now what was yes what, there are two i'm telling you the one that is makeable and oh, that okay. is the obvious choice and is actually like the one that people should go for. Oh, okay. Um, okay. This is the the obvious route. You have to no pillar from thirty onwards, so you have to flick like a god. You have to have like what perfect fun. server conditions. <laughs> um, you have to pray to God yeah. that like your brew knives actually hit on the on the nibblers as they're hitting you like to death on wave thirty one because you have no pillars. Um, you know, it's just a lot harder, but it's definitely definitely viable. Like in terms of the experience, I'm pretty sure it works out. The other 39 that's sort of like a meme, but is actually really cool to think about. The wait, wait, well, well, that 39, we already did 39. 38, 38 sorry. Oh, 30, yeah, the other 30. Sorry, yeah. yeah. The Brian's other 38. Like, it's too easy, man. What you already did it. Like, what does it matter? <laughs> yeah, the go, go second method for 38, um, which is viable because you can't make the count, is 75 attack, one strength, and finish at 35 hit point. Why would you do that, you might ask? That sounds um, great. Right. Ancient God Sword. You max Ooh. a three, you deal 25 damage 90% of the time because it's mega accurate, and you gain no XP from hitting 25 damage. And you just have to wait for your Spectre store every time? Uh, With yo. Rage 3 Ring, you're waiting like a minute something to deal 25 damage for free every time. Yo, Zara's wow. God Sword, I approve. It's a good it's a good God Sword. I use that next. So and it's you're saying that. it's not makeable because the attack would take too long? It's impractical, isn't it? Yo, you want me to tell you something about the Zara's God Sword bug? There's a bug with the Zara's God Sword. I think it's a bug, right? Where um so you know how like if it hits something and then after uh, X amount of time, if you're within the you know, the the range of the mob that you spec, it'll it'll hit up the, the mob at twenty five and heal you twenty five. There's this weird glitch. I think it only really matters at next, but it might apply to other mobs that have overheads. So, for example, uh, let's say um, you know next has protect from melee, right? If you spec the boss, uh, well, actually soul split. All right, if you spec the boss on soul split, right, and it hits the boss, okay, so you have a few seconds until the twenty five hits. But if it switches to like protect from melee, it'll cancel it. Or same same as like same if you hit the boss. And it has no overhead with the spec, right? But if it switches to any overhead, like Soul Split, Protect from Melee, it'll cancel it. It's oh. weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure that's a bug because, yeah, like, like, like even no to overhead to overhead, it'll, it'll kill, it'll stop it. It's weird. Have you but I don't think it'll fight me for real. Oh, no, I only discovered it yesterday. I like, I was trying to figure out what the hell was causing it, you know? Mm. And like, I finally figured it out, you know? But yeah, I don't think it'll matter for the Inferno, though. So it should still be good. I yeah, think, I think so. I don't know. I think um, so. The reason why the account is not viable is because you have to get 75 attack without getting any hit point, hit point experience. And you can only do that with like lamps or something. Good luck. That'll take you like a thousand hours. No. So you're saying on the side, you're slowly lamping up an account. You're not telling no. anybody. Bro, <laughs> no. only if there was like, the, you know, that pump, right? That yeah. people do, right? If there was they an need attack, an attack bro. pump. 
Uh, you know, get an attack pump, and I'm sure Mr. Absol will try for the 38, you know? No, bro. That's, so, it, it's not bad, because I think mm. if you only account for, like, using an Ancient God Sword on everything, you can even Ancient God Sword triple jads, because your accuracy is still, like, 70% or something. It's Crazy so like accurate. that. Yeah, it's so accurate, dude. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so, only uh, takes a few hours. Absol, mm. have you okay. done any attempts on a 38 combat account so far? No, I haven't, but one of the accounts before I started 39, uh, I tried with, like, a Green Salamander and, like, oh, just a, a Adamant <laughs> uh, Halberd, you know, oh, that was, like, yeah. the original oh, idea for 30, 38, but... Uh, I love this podcast, yeah. 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 God, that'd be the best thumbnail. <laughs> the good thing about the 38 um, with the Godsword is oh, you can God. use an Orange Salamander. An Orange Salamander, you can hit a 10... Sure. With it, that legitimately sounds fun. <laughs> and a ten is massive because you gain half. If you didn't know, you gain half XP for magic by using a salamander or sang staff. Right? Oh, so that's you hit a one, you only gain two XP. You don't get any splash XP or anything, so it's like oh, amazing. So, yeah, it fails. Don't stack up to anything. That's amazing. So, God, man, for real that's though, incredible. Absol, like you've just done some insane. Like this is taking you like a year to do. The patience Holy that shit. you must have had to <laughs> done this. And you've also said that you're not sure what you want to do in the game now because you've just accomplished probably the biggest challenge to date. Do you realistically think that you're going to go for 38? Or are you going to leave it here? Is this going to be your legacy? Or are you going to keep going, man? Because I, I think that you're going to go for 38. Because now that mm. you've tasted peak challenge performance in this game, bro, you can't go and kill Zora now. You, you got to up it, surely. Um, no, I'm probably not going to do 38. Uh, I don't think anybody will. Unless they introduce an attack pump, you know? Yeah, then I'd, I'd like to try it. I think that sounds because, like... Yeah, a lot like because from my from my experience, right, based on what you said of what's what what's possible right now with the 38, using a rune thrown axe and trying to kill nibblers with that and then have no pillars on a one defense, flicking one defense, no pillars, 30 plus onwards, I feel like the odds of you surviving and making it through that process is like you kind of need a computer you kind of need to be a computer for that you know honestly yeah it's really like i understand the realisticness of you say flinching with a pillar right you know and making it last all the way towards the end where at that point you know after 63 it starts becoming a lot less uh hard because then the blobs are gone right i feel i like i sense the realisticness of that but like the whole throne axe no pillars 30 after 30 is like yeah, it, it's like, what the f You know, it's like, um, my, it's my, next level. That's even more next level bullshit. To, to go back a little bit, you were saying that wave 31, if you were trying a 38 uh, Infernal Cape, a wave 31, you would have to kill the Nibblers with Rune Knives. Is there... I, I'm not familiar with the waves like yourself, so on wave 31, is there not something, another monster you can hide behind to kill them? Or is it like bats or... What's the deal with that? N nibblers always path through every other NPC. Oh, they only, yeah. yeah. That's the real challenge that. right there. I've only, yeah. ever, I've only ever done it with um, with the pillars. That's, I yeah, there. that's ridiculous. Like, you you would have to literally run away while flicking or some shit. Yep, if you have yeah. the space to do it. God, nah, dude. That's okay. yeah. That thirty eight. No one's doing that shit. That's yeah. That, Especially that's, since like thirty nine had like, like no. I don't know. No traction. I don't, I don't think there's any traction that there's going to be for 38. Yeah, you were like People the only one more combat. Yeah, you were that one one guy that was doing it. Because, <laughs> like, I mean, everybody else realizes how, how stupid it is to make 60 accounts that takes like eight hours, you know, a pop to do. And then you spend yeah. like 10 hours at the Inferno afterwards, you know? Yeah. yeah. Nah, it's nobody, definitely a nah. challenge, man. Like, um, I also just wanted to bring up that Raid 3 items are coming out soon, or actually. Yeah, that ring will make it. The next close. items are out. Yeah, yeah awesome. raise three items are out. So a lot of items are coming to the game. Is there anything you have your eyes on that could possibly change up the strategy at all if they were to add something or something you're looking for to fill a gap? Um, people thought the thralls would be good for 38, but you gain magic XP and much, right? you need a Fally shield to restore Ooh. your prayer points between waves once a day. So in terms of like other new content that could be used for low combat. I think that ring is pretty useful, but only for the ancient Godsword one. You could go back to Dragon Warhammer, and instead of an 11 attack, getting 7 attack for 38. Uh, that way you can chin, but then you're Warhammering absolutely everything, and the ring might be useful for that. 
Mm. Honestly, okay. I, I don't yeah, I don't know anything about the rest of the game really. So just the need that attack pump, about. bro. Just need that attack pump. So yeah. uh, Absol, you say there are people referring to like a community of people who are trying to fairy craft uh level thirty eight combat. So when you say there are people, like are we talking like a lot or is it like a handful of dudes that are invested? Probably in less this? than ten people, probably, honestly. <laughs> Um, the only person that I know of that ever talks about low combat, like to a lot of detail instead of like bounce, just bouncing ideas off of, but actually comes up with like strategies and like plans everything out would be unpredictable. So Shop. really only one other person is exactly might be doing it like privately, but like not collaboratively yeah. right now. Is hmm. unpredictable. Is he a streamer YouTuber or is he just, he's yeah. unpredictable. <laughs> yeah, he is. <laughs> Like freaking amazing! He makes YouTube videos. He has um, what do you call a lot of really popular YouTube? Videos. Did he do like uh, did he do an, a mechanics guide or something? I, I think that was him, right? He did like a mechanics guide, like on like pro flicking and shit like that. That might have been him. I'm not hundred percent. I don't know, but he made a, a like two really big videos that are cool that he did. He did a um, melee only, pure inferno, no pillar. So. On oh. a pure with like a scythe, he's just scything everything without a pillar. And um, he also did like a video where he's just flicking things like crazy. Like we were talking about flicking the mages, the jet, and the healers during Zuck. He he did that in the video. Yeah. Okay. I, I you know you could in a way you're you're arguing that mechanically this is not the most mechanically challenging, but but the difference is obviously the time commitment. You know, is really what sets this apart. I guess out of everything else is the time commitment. Yeah, I'd say so. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I mean, no, I think there's a lot. It's like, yeah, like, the lower the like, higher when it comes. Yeah, to like, a, a, like, like you said, a realistic thirty-eight though is not just a time commitment. It's like both. It's like insane skill because you got to flick no pillars, right? Which the thirty-nine did not involve, and then you also have to, um, you know, spend an insane amount of time building the account. So it's like. A literal, literal double, you know, double yeah. edge, like of fuckness, you know. God damn. Yeah. <laughs> oh god. It, it can't just be details or skill. It's. It looks like to oh, me, man. it'd you be like both. the then, big thing you need yeah. for something like this would be consistency, because you can yeah. have the best run ever, but if you're not, not consistent, you might not finish it. Man, you uh, thought yeah. you got it there. You definitely. You thought you had it there. I oh, it did it end. No, no, it hasn't. One sec, I want to go back. Just. Don't seconds. bait me, bro. I'm I'm watching this out Dude, here, man. I'm watching this, this man's mouse, and I could see that he thought he was gonna get the kill. Yeah, I know. He he he, like, he was gonna get his hands off the mouse and like start yeah, doing dude, this. Yeah, dude, I saw it. There, it was like a big XP drop. It was like a hundred XP, and the boss was on like no health. I think I think it was on ten health, but it rehealed since he hit last or something. I don't know. But I could see by the how the, like the mouse hesitation that he thought that it was actually dead. How, yeah, how did it did talk us through? Like, how did this feel when you were at this point in the kill? We're, we're like, I, Let I us imagine, through you. like, did you feel more anxious or did you feel like more relaxed at this point? Like, how how were you? My knees are shaking. This, this one right here. Like, like, you see the mouse hovered over to check the HP. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I was just thinking, like, I right, don't mess hit. up. Who are you gonna tell? <laughs> and. Damn. Oh my god, that deserves a clap every time. Sheesh! Sheesh! <laughs> Here comes the Debo's. <laughs> That's again. And then Debo's flying from all sides, like... Yeah. Oh my god, you didn't even yeah. put it on! You didn't even put oh, it on, bro. No, I just, I just went back to, like, the actual account. Yeah. Yeah. Damn, dude. So, so, that was sorry, great, honestly. How, how were you That's... feeling at, the, like, the last 100 yeah. HP, then? Oh, like, um, don't miss step, don't get eager, like, just stay with yeah. the shield. Yeah, you like, have, like, two restores, forward. bro. Keep it till. Yeah. Yeah. Did, did you max out the worlds? Uh, uh, oh, no way. No way. That doesn't get uh, as much traction as other things. I think I picked yeah. it, like, a thousand viewers. Yeah, yeah you, know, you know, to be fair, you didn't, you didn't really advertise it. Yeah. Oh, uh, definitely not. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It, honestly, it doesn't matter because we're gonna do it for you now. You know. Hey, dude, oh, thank there's you, some, thank you. There's some guy in the background buying an Ellie for 1.5 bill. I'm surprised, surprised you didn't trade him scammer. on that one. <laughs> yeah, dude. Don't make this money. Oh, that's a uh, that's your friend. You know. Yeah, that's unpredictable. Damn, yeah, dude. That's, crazy, that's man. crazy, man. That is insane. I know. That is insane, dude. <sighs> it's one of the range. sickest EVM challenges of all time, bro. Straight up. 
Honestly, oh, look at them all coming in, bro. Oh, look at them. Man. They're all over there. <clears throat> it's a couple oh. dozen people. Yeah, it was really cool, bro. I feel two times smarter now. You know, going through. All I this. would, but a lot of that information just went right back out. I mean, yeah. Well, I guess you have to try the inferno to really. Yeah, like, for real. Do. I got a lot of it though. It's incredibly detailed. I I thought it would be, but. I, it always blows my mind how detailed oh, look at the these math. communities are. Look at the math. 39.975. Oh, my gosh, bro. So, <sighs> Absol, like, before you did this stream, like, do you stream a lot on, on Twitch? Or was, like, because you had a thousand viewers, a lot of people. Like, how did the yeah. word spread about this? Like, who knew okay, this was happening? Right like, <laughs> how, how did this all come together in regards to that? Um, I think there was a lot more traction on the first Zuck attempt that was like on February 2nd. Uh, it like spread like wildfire because nobody saw it coming really, but people s thought that I'd continue going for this. It was on a Friday, um, probably not the best day to stream it anyways, but the viewers mostly came from the fact that a lot of the people in the Infernal community just spammed the link to other discords. Like the, the speedrunning Discord, a lot of people like kept reposting it. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. I was wondering if it got posted on like Reddit or something while you were doing it. Cause I mean, you were in there for like like over an hour. Yeah. Man, RuneScape should retweet or tweet about like huge PVM goals. I'm, I'm surprised they don't. I don't know. They need to hire me, bro. I get, I get some hype going, man. I oh, hell yeah, there. dude. Hell yeah. My minty baby. Let's get it. Yeah, we need we need one like J mod um that that really just like knows a lot about the game that like just knows when something super freaking cool happened and like Dude, I'll do it. They can pay. Yeah. I mean, I already do our Twitter and I feel like I do it yeah. relatively good job. Yeah, you're pretty, you know, pretty solid at that. I mean, you live in Cambridge, bro. You live in the UK, you know. You're yeah. you're a UK bloke, so you can just get hired. It but in my mind good. in my mind I'm like so for J mod, they just work there. They help help build the game, but like the end goal would should be right. You need a, a good community J mod game, that right? yeah, highlights right. the uh, accomplishments. And it's not that it's the J mod's fault. It's definitely not. But there should be initiative to grow the game where there's hype, right? And this is hype. Wouldn't this travel ac across the gaming? Community? If you market it well, like it's it's a banger, you know. If you market, it doesn't even it well. need a lot of marketing. It just needs any from their side, right? Yeah, like it true. would pick up on Reddit. I mean, look at how many upvotes they get on Reddit, anyways. That could that could blow up their whole Reddit. Feed. Like, imagine getting top trending on Reddit for these things. Like any of these goals, especially this one, could easily build some hype for for old school RuneScape. Man. Oh, it's so, amazing. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it would it be nice to get shares. that initiative going. It really does. For real. Did you ever post on RuneScape Reddit? Elsewhere RuneScape Reddit? I don't use Reddit, so no. Bro, you should That's do fair. it. That shit Good. will get like 10,000 alphas guaranteed. So, so I, I think somebody Bryce. else did. Yeah, yeah, somebody sorry. else did? It got oh, it like yeah. uh, 400 or something. I forget. No, it deserves way more than that. This is on, on the, uh, the ridiculous, bad titling. I guarantee you, man. I guarantee yeah. you. You do it on your own account. Um, you title it like... Uh, world record lowest comment from 39 comments. Put E-Girl you know? in there? Five he likes. And mm -hmm. then, yeah, in the picture of your character's combat level in the cape. At the pro. Those cheeks, perfect, perfect, good quality. That's 10,000 upvotes. I'm not going to So, lie. Absol, what's the plan for this account then? Are you, you yeah. going to like put together like a sweet outfit? I, I'm just like, in my mind, I'm thinking like you said before. A hand. Yeah, one I, defense, I, 99's be, all. Here's a question. I don't know if you can do this or not. One of you might know this. The decorative armor you get from Castle Wars, the yellow shit that nobody you can has. It, yeah. Can you AFK. wear that as a level one? Or is that yeah. like you need 40 defense? Dude, I, I've always wanted that armor, but I've never had the patience. Bro, that should be your next goal. AFK from Castle Wars, man. Yo, get, get 99 set. all stats. Minus the combat, yeah. of course. What happens is the day of, he gets full Castle Wars, and then somebody gets a 38 Inferno. And he's going to come right to your door, <laughs> racing, and go, look at this shit. Countered. <laughs> yeah. Um, nah, no, no nah, hopefully, hopefully we can do some good... But like, it, like, the thing is, like, we shouldn't care too much about how much praise we get for what we do, right? As long as we're happy at the end of the day and, and satisfied I'm not what we do. Talking but about no, I, praise, I personally, yeah. though, you know, I would love to expose this accomplishment to other people, though, because I feel like it's one of those things that it's you know it's inspiring it's motivational and it's it's exciting yeah. right like it really gets people so i i look excited. at the runescape community as like um 
well, they're awesome community, but I look at a lot of communities, how they grow in the gaming sector and, uh, you know, just, just some really top moments for old school runescape, right? Bonesaw getting the first fire cake oh, yeah, KB is on Twitch. Wooks doing, uh, the first, um, Ulm on leagues three, right? That was crazy. Yeah, that was crazy. Right. And in other Arnold communities, was crazy. yeah, these, these, these things are easily promoted and then more people go on the game or project or whatever. Every time, like I see a small project, they they uh they really boast hey, about now. the accomplishments throughout the community, man. And I just have a feeling that if we want to grow as a community, then we should probably. I mean, what is RuneScape even known for? One of the hardest MMOs of all time, hardest PVM, incredibly hard PvP. No, you're right. right. I agree. So I agree. this I've... would easily travel across if we could just get some J mods to make some something fun out of out of doing really cool PVM events. Because you know, it's not for me. I'm not going to be out there farming shit, right? But it would be very good for old school RuneScape in general, just 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 to build some hype, man. There's nothing wrong about building hype. It's yeah, than yeah. Facebook ads. No, Absolutely. Yeah, man. It would yeah. be really cool so, to see like this on the main website, like you know. Yeah, like, yeah. Honestly, I feel like it's always the creators that like carry most of the shit. That's like, what I'm saying. Like, so, how yeah, easy like... would this be? RuneScape would only have to make like uh, maybe a. A, a little system to where you could see who's who's competing at the moment and then if someone does a highlight clip they'll just retweet it or tweet it maybe make a runescape blog they're great at reddit posts you know you see those fucking five paragraphs things that, that, that very minimal effort on their part and very maximum effort on on the community's part that's already putting in effort so we just need their effort just a little bit just a little bit i don't know it's, you're, it's you're all, never, like the work's being done you're never getting a t-shirt I know. I know. No, I agree. I I I, I agree it's with what Mint's saying. I really do. Mint's just like adding extra chores to J mods. Like, yeah. hey, here's I agree. I feel like Jagex. Minimal, like, dude. I feel, I feel like, like Jagex's social media circle, in terms of like how how we like connect with them, it's very like non-existent. You know. Well, this is what I'm. I'm also yeah. looking at so Jagex Sofran, who just talked about the wilderness um, upgrades. You want him to on right? tweet, guys? Yeah. Tweet, for, tweet him. Yeah. We're trying to get him on. Trying we need to get him. him on to talk about the wilderness extension. Go on Twitter, guys. I look Follow at, us on Twitter and then tag us with him. Thanks. Yeah, I look at his Twitter post. Thousands of likes on random pictures. He has a thousand followers. All he's doing is posting things we want to see. I go to the RuneScape's Twitter page. Rune crafting minigame, eighty likes. They have like a hundred thousand followers. So if we're looking at two channels, one that's being paid to get promoted and has people working behind it, and another who's just going after what we want in the community and seeing actual community feedback, it's obviously the like, what the fuck? How is this game? I get a thousand likes. Our own RuneScape page can't even get over a hundred. And this is like right. someone's getting paid to work that page. No hate to that person. But that's the reality. Well, the thing right? is, if you hand someone that's capable of power shit, it's like, what can you do? You know? No this offense to the actual Twitter. Twitter Hear me you know, now. For anybody you know, who's but... still watching this podcast at this point, it's been going on Hear for me. about two hours now. Um, if we can uh, if we can get you to comment down below, I don't know, Zuck me, Zuck off, something Zuck, let us know that you've watched this far. And speaking of social medias, it's Sunday right now. As soon as this podcast ran up, it's a Sunday. It. My boy Rice Cup is gonna title thumbnail this, and I think we should probably aim to get it up tonight, tonight, Sunday. Um, for anybody who is watching, follow us on Twitter. The uh, the link is gonna be in the description of this video. Follow us on Twitter. We're gonna be tweeting out at some content creators such as uh, Dross, Josh Strife Hayes, uh, and same for the uh, the J mods that are talking about the wilderness expansion. And uh, if you guys would give us a follow on Twitter and maybe give some likes and retweets to those tweets, it would help us a lot, especially with getting. All yeah, the we are trying things. to get these people, but it's really hard sometimes to get them. You know, we so need, we need people, likes, more likes numbers the best. Yeah. People Please. respond to clout, and J mods yeah. respond. Yeah, to show clout. them that we have a semblance of clout. All right, mm -hmm. a little, yeah. yeah, just a little, <laughs> just a little something. Dude, you guys did real good when we tweeted Zezima. I think we got like a hundred likes on that. It was insane, or it was but close. But Zezima was too cool for us. But, but, but he replied. Maybe he was a humble man. He did respond, and he was just like, yeah. Yeah. "No thanks, guys." And we appreciate yeah. that. But hey, anyways, uh, Absol, it's been an absolute pleasure, my friends. Um, thank you very much for coming on. Huge congrats on this. Uh, is there anything that you want to shout out? Any social medias or anything plug, like that? Plug, plug, plug it away. Plug it away. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. I guess my Twitch, uh, twitch.tv slash um, Saul H. Yep. 
Yep. Uh, link in the chat. I mean, link in the description. <laughs> link in the description. Yes, sir. Yeah. By the way, Rexy, did you just say absolutely great? Because that was amazing. If you know. did, oh, I really? Man. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. Yeah. I didn't yeah, realize we're, we're I deep. did it, man. We're just talented. We're just talented. I was like, bravo. Never mind. Take it back. Take bravo, it back. lad. Bravo. Right. 